Hi everyone, we we are back. Uh, I thought we weren't then. <laughs> we are back. We're, we're carrying on with the um, painting stream from last week. So um, my name's Reese, and I'll be doing the finishing off the red rocket today, doing a bit of painting. We have oh. Ethan to my left. Yeah, I'm going to be attempting to finish the car. I don't think I'm going to get it done, but remember that's a window now. That is a window. That's a window. Yes, and to my, to my right, we have Giles. <laughs> yeah, and I'll be adding another layer of red to the red rocket. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Fantastic. Making the rocket as red as it can be. Yeah. Absolutely. Sweet. Cool. So we're just going to crack on, guys. Um, again, if anyone has any images they want to share, uh, please send them through to support at modifius.com. And hopefully we'll get them up on one of our screens and we can talk uh, talk about them and discuss them. But we'd love to see them as well yeah. as we're doing this. So uh, we're going to get cracked on. So what are you guys going to... What are you carrying on with? A bit of detailing? Bit of, yeah, a bit of windscreens. Windscreens, yeah. <laughs> a bit of um, weathering. Yeah. Weathering. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I'm just laying down that red. red redding it up. Yeah, so, laying down uh, that red. Yeah, I think I have a coat of red and then I can start doing some more... Uh, effects. Cool, fantastic. And what I'm doing, this has changed slightly from last week, um, but just as a recap, so I've put it down on the board uh, and I've trimmed that board up now and I've applied a layer of sand. Um, the reason I've done that off camera is um, you didn't really want to spend two hours of watching sand dry. <laughs> so I did it last night. That's what I was hoping for. No, sadly, <laughs> sadly not. And what, what I also what I have done, I've given it a quick blast uh, of a desert, um, desert color. Uh, I, actually yeah. used, I actually used Humbro Desert Brown. Humbro. And Humbro Thanks Desert Kings. Brown. It I is the It's gone up the wall as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So some of it has gone up on the wall. And it kind of, yeah, it's kind of, I don't know if anyone can see it. Let's see if I can put it under there. Oh, we've never did it. Um, um, oh, uh, by the way, if um, you don't see some of the shots, we have producer Lloyd today uh, on, on the Wheels of Steel. So, um, so be kind. So be kind. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, Steve's off this, uh, this week. So, yeah, we have producer Lloyd. So, not sure if, if that's going to be picked up. If not, I'll oh, sure place it at the front there. And yeah, you see, so some of the spray's yeah. gone up the side of the building, it kind of gives it the, like a You worked with a, a crack a dust. last week, didn't you? Like I did, crack. yeah. I so see, so see. yeah, I sprayed, uh, sprayed a bit of the tarmac black, because so, obviously the board was white. <laughs> <laughs> you are fabulous. Uh, and obviously I'm gonna be, so I'm gonna be, the idea is so I'm gonna be putting, making this like kind of like a bit of tarmac. I've even got in some Tamiya masking, very thin masking tape, so I can okay. mask off and do perhaps do some lines Oh, right. some, some road you lines. Are very prepared for this. I am incredibly prepared for oh. this. And I've got my secret secret weapon. My fabulous makeup brush. Uh, which I got for a pound. Guess where from? Oh, um some kind of pound Ooh. land. Yeah, yeah. Pound the, land. Land. <laughs> the land of pound. The land of pound. The land of pound. So yeah, and the reason I use these is because they are ultra soft. Yeah. They are ultra cheap. And they're rounded, which means it kind of eliminates the streaking so much when you dry brush. Because obviously, because when you normally dry brush, you dry brush with a chip brush, Ooh, a, almost like a trip brush, head, yeah. a square head, uh, and this kind of, and also these are designed to blend out makeup. Yeah. So you know, there's no reason why I shouldn't blend out paint. So that's what I'll be using today. So I'm going to get cracked on. So how's everyone's week been? Oh, yes, yeah, it's been good. Does anyone have the matte black? Oh, I have the matte I black. Yeah. Um, I'll remember to put the paints back. I did have the matte black. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, there we go. There you go. Well, it's very runny. Yeah, it's just a very productive week. Um, so yeah, nice, yeah, nice intro to the week. Just doing a bit of painting. A bit of painting to the end of the yeah. yeah, it's cool, right? It's uh, good to get in the mood for it. So I've got a whole bunch of painting to do this weekend. So I feel inspired by this red rocket. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so Johnny Cakes Nine, any call to arms painting? Not today, Johnny Cakes. We are yeah. finishing off what we started. Uh, last week, otherwise, like every hobbyist does. Yes, we're we're actually finishing off models. Yeah. Um, I know shock horror um, gamers finishing off their painted models, but um, I just wanted. To, and to be fair, this this red rocket has been staring at me all week, yeah. <laughs> unfinished. So and when yeah, you took it home the other day, a lot of people were staring at you with it. A lot of people were staring at me <laughs> as I walked along the road with a with a half built petrol station, absolutely from Fallout. I think a lot of people recognise it as a Fallout thing. Or they recognise you from the stream. I that I, I, I seriously doubt. Your face seems <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, Internet I, celebrity uh, mm. Reese Knight. Yeah. No, I I, I no. that's a good celebrity name, Reese Knight. It's very, <laughs> very Knight Rider ish. Or if he wanted to be in Fallout Knight Reese. Knight yeah. Reese, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yes, I uh, yes I got called Knight Rider an awful lot when I was a child because it was popular. Do you know what Knight Rider is? Before that's we even the start, car. that is that's the, the car. car. That's right. It's Braveheart in a car. 
Braveheart in a car? It's Mel Gibson, isn't it? Uh, oh, no. Mel oh, right, Gibson? Yeah. yeah. David Hasselhoff. You're thinking of Mad Max. <laughs> <laughs> So close, young boy. So, so close. close. <gasps> points for points for effort, though. No, it was David Hasselhoff. Oh, you know right. David Hasselhoff. Surely. I know him from so, the SpongeBob movie. That's him. That's the fella. <laughs> that the one right. they use as like a speedboat. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Um, so uh, my paint's got all gunked up. I'm going to have to use it from the lid, and then I'm going to take yeah, the lid well, off. Well, as a kid, went to Universal Studio. Can you get to sit in the Knight Rider car? Which oh, obviously, when you're a kid, you're not prepared that it will speak to you. But it's not the car speaking to you, it's like a micro relay to control tower, and I, I think that really yeah, kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. out. <laughs> because you weren't expecting it for like, oh, that's just the TV, and it's just uh, Sure. No, I've, I, I, I do a lot of, um, do a lot of cons, a lot, you know, a lot of sort of like comic cons and things like that. And there's usually a man out the front with a, a Knight Rider, with, mm. a, with a Knight Industries 2000. So I've, I've sat in a few. And he's part of the convention. He's just like, no, no, yeah, he's not just some random bloke. Yeah, he's, he's, he's been invited. Yeah, he's not some random fella just, like, oh, just turned up. let me in. No, we've got our Michael Mike photos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we've um, already got one in here. Yeah. 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 yeah not from, it's not the remake uh, from the early 2000s. Yeah, a slightly other sinister story about Universal Studios. I walked off with a Charlie Chaplin impersonator, apparently. What? Yeah, I know. Well, right? he stole one? No, no, he oh. walked off with me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's one. Uh, in where? Universal? Universal Studios, yeah. Oh, wow. I've never been to Universal. Uh, years ago. Um, no, no, obviously, no. different times to be sure, because I'm sure that <laughs> yeah, guy I, would I'm, have been... Uh, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure yeah. that guy would have been um, yeah. not a Charlie Chaplin no, impersonator for, I, I for a long. I'm sure you know young Giles as well, harmed in the making of... Uh, <laughs> in the making of that anecdote. <laughs> oh, mine's probably blue, the... Uh, oh, we are five uh, minutes in, and this is already weird. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie, no, I've never been to Universal. I've been to Disney. Where is it? Uh, California, right? I've been. I'm oh, so, I'm University. so small, so like. Florida? Yeah, Florida. Sure. Yeah, yeah, I think there's loads of them yeah. around. But yeah, um, I think it's just up the road from Disney. It's not far from Disney. So, so yeah, Florida, I think. But, uh, um, I do vaguely recall something like I think the Jaws ride was down for the day, which is obviously apparently one of the big ones, so that's a. Yeah, it's not there anymore, the Jaws ride. We did do like this Conan kind of live fear to piece, which was so oh, weird. Even like at that age, I could tell that it was kind of yeah. weird and strange, but kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, that Conan. Kind of, I mean, that's like you know, my lifelong obsession with Conan, though. Well, uh, you're, you're making, work- making kind of concessions for the fact it was appallingly bad. Well, you're working for the right company, right? Yeah, exactly. Conan? Okay, that was um, probably the first time I heard of him, if this was. Uh, what, through the roleplay? Through Conan, yeah. No, oh, okay. Cool. I mean, I think I've seen stuff before, but it was obviously Conan, I think, was the first Modifius. Uh, product that I bought. Oh, all right, nice, cool. Yeah, and nice. Did, you, did you play it often? Do you role play uh, still a lot? I, I, I do generally role play as much as I can. I think we've only played Conan once, um, you know, switching from, for getting people to switch from 5e to 2d20, especially Conan is quite, yeah. quite a dense system. But I think people enjoyed it, so um, yeah. I think we'll try and do some more of it at some point. Yeah. Let this dry off because the booster broke off. <gasps> so, yeah, so that's weird. You broke your booster? There's a booster. Oh, uh, no. So I will go back to the petrol pump. Okay, cool. Get a bit more well, I'm just doing. I'm just trying to stipple on. I'm just stippling on a sort of tarmacky grey yeah. onto this section here, uh, and I am stippling on because it will give it a bit of um, texture when I do it. So that's why I'm stippling. Again, these brushes are perfect for this, um, and super cheap, super cheap. Ah, so 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 yes, yeah, so the Conan live show at Universal was excellent, apparently. Yeah. Was, <laughs> is this, uh, do they still do it? I've got. I've got a I mean, it's yeah. probably something like the Fast and Furious now. Oh, God, no. um, it's probably that's actually great. Uh, <laughs> that's a reference you know, isn't it, Steve Rogers? Um, <laughs> but you know, I'm yeah, really, I, I'm not I like, a big fan of those Fast and Furious, but I do always have a soft spot for a, a, a good J. Sorry, I use the word loosely, a good Jason Statham film. Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> never heard of it. <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> what parallel universe do they yeah, exist in? It's like <laughs> Painting Stream sponsored by the Meg. <laughs> the, oh, well, I can't. I do want to watch that. <laughs> to be fair, Snatchy is good. Um, I think there's always one. There's a period of me and my girlfriend sat. We, we had a whole bunch on Netflix. And I think every weekend we watched some Jason Statham film where he Stathams people in the face. Before <laughs> they can stay from him, but he has to stay in there. Crank. He on. Crank. Yeah, oh my gosh. Oh, Crank uh, is, a, is just bizarre. It's like, uh, Jetsam J says, hi, hello guys. Hi, Jetsam J. How hello, you doing? Hey, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, so, uh, so, oh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I went to Disney Disney Studios, Disney Hollywood, whatever it's called. I can't remember. I keep changing the name of it. Um, it's the one that's got the Tower of Terror in it. 
Uh, and that's quite cool. Uh, we're in Florida then. Yeah, it's in Florida. Florida. It is Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Florida. Yeah, it's the, it's the, and that's got the um, Indiana Jones live show. Oh, yes. Which is awesome. Yeah, that was really awesome. good. And it's got the stunt show as well. Yeah, I got a picture with the, the island. MGM Studios. Yeah, yeah MGM, I think they've changed the name of it now. And I think it's just like Hollywood... Disney, I don't know, they changed the name of it. Generic Hollywood. Like, yeah, because the, uh, the Tower of Terror has been all steampunked as well. They've changed, yeah, I know. Yeah. They had, um, who went away? They had an 18 one, which was. That's right, yeah, Texas Disney World. That's right, our Tyler. That is, yeah, Disney World. Yeah, I went there a few years ago. We actually went there uh, when um, William and Kate were getting married. It was uh, that, that week we were out there. What year was that? Oh, I don't know. And my daughter, no, about, my daughter was about four, so it was about eight years ago. Yeah, yeah. I remember it because we got a day off school. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so but of course, we, a lot of the, a lot of people, you know, a lot of Americans were that day were just staring at TV screens, and we were just like getting on with our holiday because we just really didn't care. <laughs> no cues. Yeah, it was right. It was yeah, lovely. I mean, we, no, we were. We were because we don't even have to buy the fast pass. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah no, yes, yeah, so, I yeah. all the big rights. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, thanks, Lloyd. Remember, people, Ethan is young and Reese is old, and Giles is, is somewhere right, in the in, middle. Intermediate. It's yeah. kind of like the three pigs, isn't it? Too old, too what young. You call and, me? Too old. I'm including myself. <laughs> too old, too young, and, and just right. Just right yeah. <laughs> like a fine mm. Did MGM have the Aerosmith ride when you were there? Yes. Aerosmith. I remember yeah. the Aerosmith ride. I felt quite the sick. Rock, the rock and, rock and roller, 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 roller. Yeah, the rock and uh, roller coaster. How does that work? It's like. Some Stephen Tyler person. It's indoors. Yeah. It's, it's like indoors. Out. It does like naught to sixty in like two seconds, and yeah. it's all kind of actually. Giant actually, the cars look a bit like that. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. all like nineteen fifties. It's all indoors and all and neon, and it's all like so, street so signs. connection to Aerosmith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but don't tell me there's a love in an elevator bit. Really <laughs> like no, but they're, uh, as you're queuing up, there's like like a little talk, little. They're like in a recording booth, aren't they? Having there's like a little skit show as you're queuing up. I think I don't. I, mean, I went when I was ten, and they're all like, they're all like, "Hey, you're gonna have a great ride!" Ah! Yeah, that sounds. I don't know why they sound like James Brown, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. No, it's open. Our oh, Tyler, um, the Star Wars place is. Um, oh, what's it called? Star Wars Land. No, it's not called Star Wars Land. Galaxy's Edge. Galaxy's Edge is actually that sounds, open. That sounds a bit better than Star Wars. Yeah, Galaxy's Edge is actually open, oh, and no, yes, they do. It Star Wars and Land. the um, land. The, <laughs> Star Wars yeah, Land. right. Um, the full size Millennium Falcon is yes, it's it's actually a ride. The full size Millennium Falcon. So you queue yeah. up around it in like a sort of spaceport, and then you go in. You get assigned a, a gunner, navigator, and pilot. Oh, a bit like Mission Space. Yes, and then you each go into. Yeah. Um, how's the Cool Vega coming along there, Ethan? Oh, you know, it's it's still a car, so. It's, <laughs> But you have painted the windscreen now. I have painted the windscreen. That's good. I'm now painting the exterior mirrors. So we see. If, so we see if, if close up cam works. Yeah, let's have a go. We're going to give close up cam a work. <laughs> so heads up, Lloyd. I'm, I'm placing it on the bottle cap. Uh, we'll take a look at our monitor to see if it to works. see if it works. I'm now doing a, a bit of a wet brush. Eh, oh, oh, hello. It's a Z10. So, uh, see, I'm that good. <laughs> yeah, you turned a car into an alien. Is it happening? It's gone. Uh, it's, it's, it's all. Oh, hello. Oh. oh. Yeah. So, sorry about the technical difficulties. Oh, I can't even speak. To you can't even. It's Friday afternoon. Not prepared to speak. You weren't. You weren't. You weren't originally. <laughs> right. You weren't. I would just like to point out, yeah, Ethan wasn't uh, down to be. On the stream today, uh, and he actually isn't feeling one hundred percent either, are you? So, yeah. but I press ganged him into coming on. The call to arms. Was it was the call to arms. Oh, I like what you did there. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Cross brand synergy there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like that. That's very good. Why we can pay the big bucks? <laughs> uh, That's why um, you get paid the big bucks. <laughs> There we go. Oh, look at this is coming up a treat. That's looking really good. It's coming up a well, treat. I always like making scenery because you can just go with. Yeah, Go well, uh, with a brush. Hey, hey, post apocalypse scenery is probably yeah. some of the best scenery you can ever make because if you do it wrong, I it would looks like so right. To scenery <laughs> replicating a pristine city centre. Okay, try the cam now. <laughs> try the cam now. Okay. Try the cam now. Well, Vega is back on the bottle cap. Oh, okay, nice. So California's open now. Great. Oh, fantastic. And Florida opens. A, was that August the 29th? <gasps> Yeah, I do want to go. I am, yeah, I'm a massive Star, Star Wars geek, and I so want to go. Um, I know a couple of guys who run um, fan for tracks. 
it was like a, a Star Wars news YouTube and blog and that sort of thing. So I know a couple of the guys who run that, and they've been out there. And I'm just, oh, just so jealous of them. Oh, they know all the, oh, they know everyone. They know everyone. They know everyone. So uh, hey, okay, uh, what have we got here? Hi, also, what's the treatment being done on the car stock scenery? So what I've done. So what we did in the last stream. All I've done is literally stuck it to a base. That's all I've done. I've, I've built it as stock, um, straight out of the straight out of the box, and it's been glued down, um, so it's just more sturdy. And I've then cut them the base into a sort of wibbly wobbly shape, so it blends in with um, the sort of battle mat. Mm. Uh, and then and I've added sand um, to it in places. And then I'm and I've given it a spray of a dark desert yellow. What I'm doing at the moment, I'm kind of wet brushing, dry brushing to bring out the texture of the sand. Uh, and I've still put on some uh, grey onto like a tarmac area. And I've carried, I don't know if you can quite, if you can see that, I've carried some of the yellow onto it. So it looks like the dust. Yeah. You know, yeah finer it's dust. Moving. Yeah, yeah. And I'll do that. And I'll do that around the side as well. So I'll, so it's kind of with these brushes, because mm. you can get a, cause such a softer uh, texture off them, you can almost get away with doing like dry brush transitions with them. Mm. Uh, not airbrush transitions with them. Because oh, they're right, so okay. fine. You don't get any brush strokes and stuff. So. So that's what's been done. So, to be fair, not a lot dramatically, uh, which was kind of the idea. Yeah. It was kind of the idea to say, you know what, with just a little bit of effort, you get it. it, it, it you can make it look yeah. even better than it already is. Because we used the other scenery they make, didn't we, on Wednesday on the stream? That the train, yes. the train that we kidnapped or heisted or whatever it was. <laughs> that was their stuff, wasn't it? That was. That was my mm -hmm. battle systems. Battle systems. That's right. Yeah, that's cool. Ooh, this silver gunmetal paint is very thin. Is yeah. it? No, yeah, okay, okay, cool. So I don't know if anyone can see. I, we we've got have got pallets, and I've actually got a chunky bit of cardboard I'm using for mixing on because we want to protect our lovely table from Geek and Son, <laughs> which you know is kindly donated to them. Uh, it's a fantastic thing, and I don't think anyone would be too pro press when we've got paint all over it. So I've got a nice bit of card down. But should anything happen, hot. Hot soapy water and a bit of scrubbing brush, oh, okay. and it will clean. It will clean up lovely. So I guess just wanted to make that aware that we are protecting the lovely, uh, lovely table. Mm. How's the rocket coming along? Uh, yeah. Red. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, that's just, the minimum I expect. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, yeah, I think as it had a black undercoat, there are, I, I'm trying to make sure there's not too much of that showing through. I'm happy it being a very dark colour yeah. at the moment because it looks quite rusty. I think it actually weirdly looks quite well with the look you're going for. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to kind of just, just try to make sure it's just got like an, another like suspicious layer of red off just to hopefully brighten up and put any black areas in. And then um, we'll start using a bit of the sponge effect to dab a more rusty look on it. Yeah. And then brighten up like the rivets with a bit of like, you know, that... Um, What's the silver you're using? The I'm using uh, gun metal. Yeah. Um, what have we got there? There. Uh, they, they, I think the the the, um, the crowd want more, Giles. They want to see your red rocket. They want to see the red rocket. They want to see your red rocket. I will. Oh gosh, I have a look. So it's wet. The wet half. The, sorry, the bottom half is the wet bit. Ah, you're right, great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so is it coming up on screen? Here it comes, yay! Yeah. We have close-up cam, yeah. awesome. One of the boosters did kind of come off at the beginning of the stream, so that's, that should be set. This glue you've got is actually... Ooh, it's put, really good, isn't it? Better put the lid on, yeah. otherwise we're all gonna pass out. Is it <laughs> the good stuff? It is the good, it's, it's, it's really good. Like, it's like the uni bond you brought in last time. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's the mighty fast stuff. It's pretty good. It's, well, it's, we are all one consciousness. It's the um, yeah, it's um, it, it's used for it's used for frame making. Actually, uh, thanks, uh, Tyler seven oh seven one. Yeah, yeah, nice. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, so Jim Johnson uh, sold a bunch of those cars uh, at Gen Con. Yes, I heard. Yeah, um, so Gen Con, um, by the, I wasn't there sadly, but by all accounts, Gen Con was super busy for us. Yeah, um, I, I, I think the queue was three and a half hours long on the Friday. Oh wow! Yeah, that for demos. No, that was to buy stuff. Oh, awesome. <laughs> that was literally just to buy stuff. Excuse oh, me, wow, that's, that's awesome. Mm. I hope you all got all your gaming needs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, um, really. If anyone good. did go to Gen Con, is on the stream. Just tell us what stuff you liked. Um, what you bought? Yeah, what you bought. What, what you, you bought? Liked. What you demoed? Um, did you, you like, whether you'd like to do that to see us do a painting tutorial at Gen Con next. Oh wow! A live painting stream from Gen Con. Yeah, 
Please say that, because then I can go. Yeah. I, we cannot make that decision. <laughs> so, that's no, just... that's well beyond my pay grade. But, you know, you've got, you've got to put things out in the universe, John. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> These things happen if you, if you, if you, if you believe it. Uh, I don't believe any of that. <laughs> well, just... But it would be awesome. I've never been to a Gen Con. Uh, Where is Gen Con? Uh, Indianapolis. Uh, it's sort of like the... Chicago? Mm, yeah. It's sort no. of, yeah. Yeah, it's a drive. It's a... No, that's Chicago. near the Great Washington. Lakes. I believe. No. Yeah. no, Chicago's not in Washington. <laughs> I'm going to see out. Chicago's Illinois. Chicago, yeah, Illinois. Yeah, Chicago's yeah. Illinois. Yeah. yeah, the Great Lakes, that area. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Any other American chums know? <laughs> we yeah, can give, give us a look. Our um, my um, American geography is not great. I know. Uh, originally, I, I, it originally used to be near the Gary Gygax sort of house, didn't it? Like yes, it was, was. Yeah, it was uh, Gygax like, 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 world. Geneva, like Michigan, or I Wisconsin. Know. I don't know. Like, I don't know. But yes, but it's Indianapolis, which is famous for the Indy 500 and Gen Con, I believe. Uh, Chicago's in Illinois, Indiana is, Indianapolis is in Indiana. <laughs> Thank wow. you. Thank who'd you. have known? <laughs> who'd, have, who'd have thought? Um, but what's the travel distance between the two then? Indiana. If a train leaves Chicago at 9 o'clock and then a train leaves well, at 10 o'clock, where do they meet? Three, hour, three hours. Wow, that's a, that's a bit of a trek. Wowzers. Cool. I'm quite good at darts war budgies. <laughs> I grew up uh, in uh, going to the pub with my dad. <laughs> I am, so I'm pretty good at darts. Yeah. So yes, no, I'd, I'd love to go. I'd love to. Any, any of you guys in the in the chat go to um, apart from you, Jim. We know you were there. Um, well, you can talk as well. <laughs> um, go to Gen Con. We know you were at Gen Con, Lloyd, because you weren't here. <laughs> I love talking to your producers, it's great. <laughs> I'm so glad I haven't got him in my ear though. Oh, could you imagine? Can you imagine that? Can you imagine a, a live feed with someone in your ear? He'll just put some sassy up on the... Uh, he will, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm not sure if we've had any um, photographs from anyone yet. Uh, that'd be cool to see. Yeah. What's everyone else working on? Yeah, let's see what everyone yeah. else is working on. There was some really good. Um, who was it? Someone, someone posted some robots there. There was a sentry bot, wasn't there? Yeah, 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 really yeah. cool. Um, there must be some raiders out in the world by now. Yeah, people they actually uh, raiders are available in retail today. Today, today. So they're available on a lot. Of, we've seen a lot of people have got on their websites. So yeah, the raiders are actually out today. Was the release date? Uh, it was the uh, official? I would like to date. see people's dogs. Uh, oh, so if you got any dog meats of any type, mutant mm. pounds, please post them. Um, we've got a dog now, haven't we? In, a, oh, in, in, in the RPG, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We've got a dog now. <laughs> what have you signed us up for? <laughs> <laughs> the Modifius dog. <laughs> the Modifi dog. No, yes, we've got. A, yeah, we've got. A, we've got. A, we, yes, we managed to get to it before Shandleton could set fire to it. Yeah, we were talking about turning that dog into a character and having Giles play it. <laughs> Just jobs coming uh, in. A bit like when George Clooney was a dog in South Park. Well, sort of someone did mention about that, and we we came up with uh, a interesting idea, which I don't want to say. About my oh, favorite, okay. About, about we'll my, tell you about, later. About, my, yeah. about my, my favorite faction in the office when we're playtesting. Um, <laughs> so, are you two guys part of these um, Tale of Many Gamers thing? Uh, are you guys doing this? That I've heard we're about we're in going the to start on. Yeah. Cool. I think it's unofficial as of now. Well, uh, yeah. Hey. I'm adding a little bit of orange. But now we've got there. Now there's there's like four factions. Yeah, yeah. Um, Which is which is a pain in the five of us. Yeah. Um, (laughs) But we've talked we've talked about a little bit in the office, and we have had a couple of spitball and some ideas. So I normally do fun survivors previously, but I'm very been really interested in Minutemen quite recently. I don't like I don't like selecting factions other people have already used because I I I hate that. Sure. Um, okay, I weirdly I like the idea of painting in like communist colours. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, I just and I guess with Brotherhood of Steel you can do yeah. some different types of faction, um, can't you? You can do like because they're different little, offshoots of Brotherhood, isn't just it? Just a little yeah. play on the whole Minuteman so it's covered in dust tea party kind of thing. Covered in bits of sand. That is not us making a political statement, but <laughs> <laughs> anything like that I will the, um, <laughs> the opinions of uh, our Arabians do not reflect no, the opinions not. of Adithia. No, but I know it's part, <laughs> that's part of it in Fallout. There is that kind of weird like um like aspect of it and I find it kind of fun to just like kind of do a rogue faction of Minutemen. Sounds cool. Who is doing yoga swatting flies and fist, fist pumping, pumping in, in the background? background. That's probably Lloyd. 
Ah, they can see just a tiny bit into the office. Yeah, like a probably. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alid's sad, so he's not in the stream. Yeah, Alid's got a lot on at the moment, unfortunately. He's um looking looking through some figures. Figures. Yeah, he's checking out stuff. Ah, uh, you know, I agree with you there, Jim. Once Elder Scrolls is out, we, it will be insane. So, bigger stand, more people. Me, because mm -hmm. I want to go. Just getting a bit, getting to where I need to on the reds before I can. Um... Cool. How are you getting on with your cool Vega there? Sorry, that's not okay. I'm just working on the metallics. You're doing on the metallics? Nice. Yeah. Awesome. You're going to put a wash on them. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm going to twist them all for them. Unfortunately. The liquid talent. Almost right. like, unlike, you know, modern cars, everything is trimmed with a metallic. So there's like the little, uh, I don't know what these are called. These little... Uh, it's just called bright work. Bright work? Bright work. Oh. Yeah, it's just called bright work. Okay. Uh, I mean, they probably have got proper official trims, but generally all chrome is referred to as bright work. All shiny and chrome. Yeah, shiny and chrome. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what's the brand of paint? We are using uh, Army Painter War Paints. That is what we're using. Um, I use them a lot anyway. Uh, well, I use any paint. I use any old paint. So I use Vallejo, GW, War Paint. Yeah. Um, Coat d'Arms, Foundry. Because uh, I find different paint ranges have different niches. Yeah. Niches is the right word? You know, cause oh, so, yeah, so Vallejo's Metallics are really good. I really like Vallejo's Metallics. They're really strong. I've never had a problem with them. Um, GW, it kind of GW is kind of like the availability. You can yeah. practically go go anywhere um, and get GW paints. Um, I mean, I've used P P three are great. P three, yeah, I've used a little bit. I, I think the couple I tried weren't to my taste, but they're I, very very strong pigment. Yeah, really strong pigment. Really, but, you know, um, pigmented. You know, I'm happy to try new things out. Like, um, I think next month I'm going to order some um, war color stuff. Um, Either their main range or their nostalgia red box stuff. Yeah. I think their, their main range is a gel base paint, which I've never used one before. No, um, I, no. I so I that's I'm quite interested in. I've heard really good things that it's um, keep that kind of vibrancy of some of the earlier GW colours, but a, you know, it doesn't dry out as quickly. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I've got, I've got an airbrush as well, so I use uh, Vallejo Air, GW Air. Um, Anything really, any paint you can run through an airbrush. I, I, I like pre mixed, I like the pre mixed um, airbrush paints. I don't want to be sitting there thin in paint, so I'm quite a lazy painter in that respect. So, I got like, have you seen the Foundry range? No, so Foundry, um, they so they do these little packs, and it'll be like a pack of brown, pack of red, pack of green, pack of yeah. blue, and it's the dark, the mid tone, and the highlight. Yeah, so war colors, <laughs> it's just war like, yeah, do that as well, yeah. where you can now order like the progression of colors. So, if people who really wanted to paint like green, you know, they'll get that kind of yeah, um, you just, you, but that you just it smash it out and just do it as well. So much yeah. easier. Um, how far is the car coming along? Oh, I think they want an update there, Ethan. Oh, we're no way near. Uh, being done, uh, but should we get it on close up cam? Yeah, just just because it confuses Lloyd. Yeah, one second. That'll be ace. Love you, Lloyd. So, I'm yeah. standing in some metallics. So, we got. Ooh, our video is buffering. <laughs> I don't think that that's our, us. Our I don't video think is buffering. That's that's because I'm uh, in it. They want to see the car again. Is it, is it, it's in the car cam. That's uh, it is in close up cam. Oh, are we suffering technical difficulties? Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it, it appears to be a bottle cap. There's your problem. <laughs> yes, there is your problem. Well, luckily, it's a it's a broken car. Yeah, it's a it's it's an abandoned car. Still has a very deadly explosion rule on it. Does it? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Is that yeah. like a scenario or is like a? Uh, you know, if you like... put if you put this car down on your table, there is a card. I think you get with the car. I'm not too uh, sure. Me and Charlie that. used that when uh, we did that um, the marketplace stream. Um, I can't remember why. I think we we kind of just allowed it to happen because we wanted the car to blow up. But uh, <laughs> yeah, if there is rules for it, and that's the reason why you should take cars so they can nice, cool, explode. Awesome. Because yeah, yeah. Games. Well, yeah, that's that's what. Yeah, but that, I kind of like that. I yeah. kind of like that style terrain. Yeah. Well, yeah. To a point though. 
I remember when um, you had hostile terrain in six, seventh edition fantasy, and that uh, uh, Warhammer, and that was just ridiculous. <laughs> you'd like you'd have like a tree would take out an entire army. Yeah, that was just no. That tower turned up and your army just disappeared. Oh yeah, it was just ridiculous. <laughs> I don't mind a little bit of um, random ra- randomness in my, in my games, but not something where I can lose a battle just based on a, a wizard's house, you know, or, or some kind of river. It's quite a story to tell though. So how how did the battle go? Oh, well, wizard, yeah, wizard you know, house wizard's turned. house turned up yeah. and, and then killed me. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, it's not a story. Classic <laughs> Monday. Yeah, it, it's the yeah, eighteen. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's not one for the um, the gaming anecdotes, is it? Just another day in Britannia. Britannia <laughs> doesn't exist anymore. It blew it all up. Oh, you know, hearts. You know, hearts. Like, um, Britannia stands. <laughs> Actually, I know Britannia doesn't exist because I tried to buy some Britannia men at arms the other day and they were going for 60 to 70 pounds on eBay. Oh, mate, we'll talk after this, don't worry. <laughs> it's okay, I found some bits. <laughs> No, yeah, because you've got to get rid of some stuff, haven't you? Because you're moving. I am moving yeah. into a one-bedroom flat. So, nice. my multitude of armies for many <laughs> game systems. You've got a ground floor flat, ground floor flat, was it? First I have a ground floor flat. So you can have a shed? No. Ah. Oh. I could probably That's... get a top. A tarp. <laughs> Put it in the garden. <laughs> a tarp. Not all comes to even like, wargaming tarp. A wargaming like gazebo. A, yeah. Um, yeah, but we said we'd do something like um, have, a, have a painting day or come over do your game or something for yeah. a housewarming. Yeah. That'd be fun. Can stream from Ethan's flat. Or like, wow. Live and uncut. Oh. Can you, you imagine that? Would Can you imagine the viewership? It'll go through the roof. Yeah. We wouldn't have the bandwidth. <laughs> we can... Stay out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Invite you in here. Um, I'm not sure if we've got a few technical uh, difficulties in there, guys. Oh, no, it's all right. I thought we didn't have anything, but we can... No current dominant pits, but the base was nicely detailed. That's a shame. Mm -hmm. Uh, Charles, you might want to get up and just refresh the uh, monitor. This one here. Yeah. Just uh, see if you can press play on it. Or pause and play. You can see while we're painters, we know nothing about computers. Uh, Hmm. Uh, maybe just hit the space bar twice? No. No. Floyd! Yeah. <laughs> Floyd! <laughs> we don't know what the, currently our monitor of what we look like because we can see the stream so we can it's, follow so we make sure that we know that we're in shot. We, it, it's currently locked up so that's why we can't see anything. Hey! He's here to save the day. He this is. was all a ploy. Hey, everyone. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just to get Lloyd in. Lloyd is such a... <laughs> hog, a limelight hog. Let's get this paint up there. So, Ethan, have you seen uh-huh. any new, any old films in the last any, week? Any, <laughs> any new old films? Yes, any new old films that we so, can reference? Because last week it was getting It's an old film to me. Oh, I, God, I, it means it come out last year. <laughs> I watched Mulan last night. Mulan? Yeah. I've never seen that. Oh, you've got paint all over me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so sorry. I'm really Where's sorry. the kitchen roll? <laughs> I am so sorry. Oh, I'm going to look ridiculous on the tube. Or I could give you a lift home. Oh, excellent. There you go. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, I don't know. It depends where you park today. Uh, same place I was on Wednesday. Oh. It was a bit of a trek. But it's a lot. It's, it's cheap. It is cheap. It is cheap. And this, as this is like central London parking. I do apologise. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. I'm excited for our carpool. Carpool karaoke. Oh, it's yeah. going to be a thing. Thank you very much. Lord. Thank, you, Thank Lloyd. you, Lloyd. Love you. Right. Awesome. We can see again. We can see now, so, so yeah. We can see what's so going on. If you did send any pics, please resend them. Yeah, and then we'll be able to see them. Because I like seeing other people's uh, stuff. Yeah, they're going to do a new film. Uh, sorry, a new version of Moonlight? How's that going to work? Is it going to be like The Lion King where it's the same thing and it's still technically a cartoon because there's no real life? Oh, is it not? Is it live, act, live action? As in made to look real, but I actually no, still computer generated? Yeah. No, no, I imagine that the Mulan remake will have people in it. <laughs> Just maybe not Eddie Murphy as a dragon. He was good as a donkey. He was good as a donkey. 
Yeah, I know. Never seen it. Never seen Mulan. Never seen right. it. No, oh. never seen it. That's yeah. one of the best Disney songs ever. Oh, okay. What one's that? I mean, we, we... Make a man out of you. Yeah, okay. No, never seen it. It's live action, but they're ditching the animated story. I'm going for a semi-historical legend. Mm. Oh, sweet. There you go. Well, I didn't know that. What about that? You like the Matt Damon one where he saves the war of China? I'm not uh, seeing that either. I don't know. <laughs> it just looked terrible. I'm not seeing that Sorry, either. Matt Damon, I, Matt oh. Damon is a modifier subscriber. I do apologize, Matt Damon. <laughs> um, I just, think I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, I think we're all right. Because I have some words about the Martian. <laughs> I mean, I use the word math. Uh, I've done the math. I, I can math. Yeah, it's almost like that's why we call them math films. <laughs> where I was like, I've done the math, but your math is no good. Like, it's like maths. Uh, no, not that. But it's just sort of the math, the abstract. Uh, to all Americans watching, I do apologise to Giles. Well, <laughs> it's like a... um, but I do have a similar thing with Lego and Legos. No, I, don't mind, I don't mind the, the. It's not. It's not about that. It's just the way they always refer to them as like the science or something. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. I don't have the history for this or something. It's yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't. Yeah, you, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's more of the grammar of it yeah. than as opposed to. Yeah. They, like I've done the math. I've done the and math. Your math is not as good as my math. I can potato. Yeah, like, really, I can potato whatever it is. It's it just is. one of those like film conventions. They all it's like you know tough guy speak for whatever. I don't know. It's almost trying to, it's almost, um, um, I don't want to sound as intelligent as yeah. I actually am. Yeah. You know, I want to do it it's like, it's almost like, oh, I didn't go to school, but I've managed to land a spacecraft. It's just like, it's this hyperbolic film dialogue 101 sort of thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Saying a lot, but saying very little. Yeah. Uh, it's like... <laughs> saying a lot, but means very little. It's practically my day. Yeah. <laughs> Practically my day. Mm. This black is very watery. I don't think we've seen anything new, any new films. We watched a lot of TV recently. Um, yeah, I've got to check out that new um, Amazon thing. Does it The Boys? Oh uh, yeah, uh, we finished watching that. Yeah, I, was, uh, that yeah, I read, read the comics years ago. And uh, well, I'm a bit of a Carl Urban fan. Yeah, Carl. I think Carl Urban um, is a, such an underrated actor. Um, we're big in our house. We're a big fan. The guy plays the. Homeland of the Superman guy, uh, a guy called Anthony Stye, was in a really great show called Banshee, which, All right. uh, not for the young viewers, but if you can watch it, it's a really, really good show. And they've made him look super creepy, uh, which is really <laughs> good. Yeah, I quite like the idea of it. Um, it kind of reminds me of, um, there's a, a British comic character in the sort of late 90s called Martial Law. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I can't remember the publishing house, but he was he was like a Howard Ch Chakin Chakin. He was the artist. Yeah, and Pat Mills. He did like Pat Mills. Yeah, Pat Mills. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was definitely Pat Mills. Yeah, but um, so yeah, he was like a um, a superhero hunter. He was like a had a very judge. fascist fascist state policeman hero. Yeah, hunter. yeah. very judge reddish in this kind of. It was uh, yeah. It was kind of like post apocalyptic because it was like after the big. Um, yeah. Earthquake, wasn't it? Big San Francisco earthquake. So set in San Francisco. We haven't read too much of it, but I am it's good. aware of the yeah, periodical yeah, it, title. Yeah, it's good. It's kind of like alternate history where uh, to fight World War Two, help you know to get the edge. They invented superheroes, so you'd go in and yeah. get a superpower. It was like kind of random, <laughs> and then so obviously after the war, you had like this excess of um, superheroes. With superheroes, so yeah, so <laughs> and then obviously a lot of them had PTSD and turned to crime. Um, so he would hunt them down. But the irony thing, irony thing was that martial law was also a superhero. He uh, had a, his superpower. His superpower was um, uh, the more pain he got, the stronger he got. Okay. So he actually had his character had barbed wire wrapped around his arm to keep himself in constant pain. Fair enough. It was good. It was very good. <laughs> Fair yeah. enough. As you do. Yeah, very good. But they had, you know, they had like um, uh, parodies of like famous. Yeah. So you had like a Batman superhero. Like yeah, you'll, you'll get guy. quite a lot of that. It is I, Man Bat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but and there's like an Ant Man one. Uh, there's one where he's like he's falling off of a building and he's going, "Don't worry, I will psychically talk to my ant friends," and they will form a cushion and, <laughs> and he just yeah. hits the deck. I haven't watched this TV series, The Tick. I mean, I remember watching the cartoon. I've, when I was a I've kid. seen. I saw I, the I, pilot. I, lo I loved the cartoon when I was a kid. It was yeah. really good. Really. Good. I saw the pilot. Uh, it was on Amazon, wasn't it? Yeah. Because it wasn't. Wasn't it? If they got so many. Subscribers yeah. off the back of it. Like, was it? Is this the one that one was it? Peter Sofrinovitz. Yeah, yeah. Because originally it was Patrick Warburton, wasn't it? Um, oh, um, there was a live action one years ago. But yeah. I, I remember the, just the cartoon, which yeah. was like a tea time 
viewing, which yeah, the original Chippendale Chairhead was uh, the best villain. But yeah, the um, original live action was Peter Warburton, who is um, Joe from Family Guy. Oh, cool. Oh, him. Um, he he yeah, generic yeah. deep man with voice. Yeah. Deep man's voice. Um, <laughs> he's in Men in Black well, I think the, the sense of humour of the, the tick cartoon would appeal to you. I think it was like, it just seems it's quite surreal. And, yeah, it's uh, very, very surreal. Like there's a villain with a chair head for a chair, uh, chair head for a head, and he wants to put his portrait on the moon and stuff like. That. It's very, it's very, it's very Earthworm Jim. Oh, blimey! Is that a reference you got? I have that on my Mega Drive. Oh yeah, but there's also a cartoon. Oh, there's an Earthworm Jim cartoon, and you had like Queen Slug for a button, things like that. Okay, cool. So the rocket's looking a bit more redder. It is, yeah, definitely. Oh, sweet, yeah, that's yeah, really good. Pop on the screen for one. Yeah, that's gonna look really cool. Where's what? Uh, the tip. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not even. Marshmallow with Samo Hung. <laughs> Samo Hung's Twilight Years, Lloyd. Oh. <laughs> uh, yes. Cool. I'm filling in the crack now. So I've done my time, Aki bit. And I'm uh, just filling in the crack now. If anyone's noticing why it's got, why I've gone quiet. And... Mm. Is, is Reese the god of gluing? <laughs> I've been known to glue things, yes. <laughs> I have been known to glue. Um, I actually prefer building models than painting, if truth be told. Well, the state of my desk is anything to be told. I apparently enjoy building more than well, yeah, uh, much painting like, and finishing painting. Much like the state of my desk as yeah. well, yeah. And the state of my um, house. I much, yes. much prefer to, to sit there and build a model, yeah. and I like converting models and stuff. I used to be the same. Well, I actually I do enjoy painting more. I just wish I had more time to yeah. the assembles. Well, that's the thing with with making models. It's it's slightly cleaner, isn't it? And you can like kind of do it on the train. You can't really get your paints out on a train. Challenge accepted. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Not, well, you probably could, uh, but not on British trains. Not on it's, London trains. No, because it's they're not exactly the smooth. Rush hour, rush hour Friday night to South London, I guarantee you, is going to be a very. But I can imagine, I can a Im bad time. I can imagine like the long um, distance American trains, which are really comfortable. Oh, someone's calling us painting minions. Painting minions? Ah, yeah. oh. about a bit of minion. I'm not cute enough for a minion. <laughs> painting minion. I like. I like that. I'm a gluing god with my painting minions. <laughs> painting on the tube. Yeah, I don't think that would go down well at all, War Budgies. Um, I don't know. I'd, 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 I'd prime them with a rattle can on the tube. <laughs> oh, can you imagine? <laughs> can you imagine if you got out like a load of miniatures and just started priming yeah. them on, if you, if in, you, on the middle of the Northern Line? If you explain <sighs> to them that's premium spray paint that's on their expensive business suit, I'm sure they're all over that. I'm sure they'd be all over that. Yeah, yeah. yeah no. For me, that's like reef bone. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, that's Retributa armor. That's fifteen pound a can. Yeah, like, it's, <laughs> got, it's got real gold in it. <laughs> If you, stand, if you stand still, I'll put a wash on you as well. As, um... <laughs> Too often offer to wash people on the tube channels. <laughs> um, sometimes with paint, sometimes with not. Would you uh, like your rocket back? Uh, I would love my rocket back. There we are. Um, so I think I'll do the rib. I might just do the rivet. So if you don't mind me polluting the water with metallic. You, know, you crack on, mate. It's fine. I'm post apocalyptic so, so it won't make any difference if there's. Um, yeah. Metallics in my in the in the water. Too fussed about that and overall usually. No. You know, some people get a bit super precious about yeah. it. Yeah. I'm, I'm not a competition painter. No. I'm very, I'm, no, if I'm, I was doing a competition, yes, I would have I would I, have I would have several pots. I'd have water for like whites and yellows. Yeah. I'd have water for darks and then I'd have water for um still call We call it similar names around Washington. Train. Oh, they're talking about the tube. Oh, so they're translating British to American. Ah, me, the you... tube is an underground train. Yeah. Friend Ethan, could you pass me the gun metal? Friend Please. Ethan can do that for you, colleague Giles. <laughs> minion, <you>. minion Giles. <laughs> yes. Can we can see a close-up of Ethan's mint-coloured car. Mm, can we see a mint close-up of Ethan's car? Can we see it? Can we? No. <laughs> That's more of a technical question as opposed to uh, well, whether that's, that's whether you're willing or not. Oh, uh, right, okay. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll pop it on a bottle cap. And, and we'll Lloyd see can, what... Lloyd can do his thing. And we'll see what happens. 
So now I'm doing Silver Rivets. Silver Rivets. Yeah, that's actually crazy. Sounds like a song from the 70s. Well, Mint Car, it's also in. Mint Car is a Cure song by one of their slightly less. It is? Pop, yeah, from the Wild Mood Swings album. Yes. I remember. Not that. one of their more popular. Is that the album with Friday I'm in Love on it? No. No. It was that the one after that? Uh, I think so. I'm just trying to get the chronology. Probably. Yeah, I think it was actually. There was a bit of a gap between. That was Wish, which was filmed uh, recorded in Oxfordshire, where I'm from. Sort of. um, and then yeah, that was like their like mid '90s. They started like yeah. I know they're a bit popular again nowadays, but they had that kind of. They kind of they went a little bit poppy, didn't they? To yeah. Be fair. It was good. It's okay. right album. It's got some good little uh, some funky little tunes on it. I guess I said funky. Uh, nothing wrong. With, nothing wrong with the third word. Nothing wrong with the word funky. Sorry, well, we say funky in war games. Do you? Uh, no, we, we don't. Are, we're very down with the You space. are very down yeah. with the kids. Yeah. 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 We you, are you hip know, and happening. You know the street we yeah. know, and all that. Yeah. We have been on it. <laughs> we do. We, we walk it to, to work. <laughs> this is, I'm quite enjoying this now. Because you know you get to that point sometimes with the military, you kind of think, oh, it's just going to be rubbish. I generally am at that point the second I put paint on. Oh, yeah. you're so harsh. Well, no, but I hate everything until it's done. And yeah, like, yeah, right. All right, okay. When, I can see the finished product. When me and Ethan paint in the office, we're constantly like, everything we do, like, oh, does this look okay? Does this look okay? No, tell me it's rubbish. And we're, no, it's good, mate. It's good, mate. Oh, are you sure? We both say that to each other. <laughs> painting, painting by committee. Yeah, it's like, it's, that's how we do it. It's like, uh, we both were like, no, no, yours is really good. No, yours is good. <laughs> that's harsh, man. Always put that no one, no one in this video is down with the kids. I am. Yeah. Yeah. I've played Fortnite. Yeah, once. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. YouTubes. <laughs> We're on it. Uh, well, that's, that's very true. I've got five. M much to the dismay of my children. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I, Tyler, we didn't, it wasn't quite a car stock. It's, um, so the, it's, it's a weird, it's, it's, it's PVC. It's a PVC. Uh, in, over here in the trade, it's called Fomex. Um, it's kind of like foam. It's not foam board. It's a plastic. It's a PVC board. Is probably the best thing I can describe it as. Um, we use it over here for like temporary signs on doors, um, and you know, like on building sites that kind for of sale thing. signs for sales. Well, that's more the that's more the fluted stuff. But oh. yeah, so I'll try. What I'll try and do. I'll try and get um, try and uh, find out what the um, the proper name for it is. And then when this video goes to YouTube, I'll put it in the comments. That makes sense. I'll put it in the comments and when it goes to YouTube. But yeah, it's, um, yeah. Why does Reese lick the brush after he dips it in the water? Because um, it's a disgusting habit. Um, All painters do it. It's the haven't. only true way to get the tip back on the brush. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's, it's for bringing, it's bring, it brings the point back to your tip on your brush. Mm, it also shows you're a serious painter. And no, the point is not, to the paint is not toxic. Otherwise I wouldn't do it. <laughs> That's why I like the paintbrushes. So I, and I'll just I'll say uh, non-toxic, paint water-based, top quality acrylic paint. Ugh. So it is non-toxic. It doesn't taste particularly nice. Health and safety gone mad. I know. <laughs> I know. It, yeah, it's just it's just it's just a habit. It's habitual. It is it is, it is a habit, unfortunately. Yeah, I've done it all I my life. Do it quite a bit. Yeah, yeah. My yeah, girlfriend yeah. also says, "Why did you spend doing that?" And yeah, I've done it. And and I my wife does. Paint all around my mouth. Yep. Exactly. Yep. I do exactly the same when I go home. I paint at home. <laughs> we'll do a stream of how to successfully lick your paintbrush after you have no. <laughs> two hours of. Can you imagine that two hours? A two hours tutorial of you licking paintbrushes. Two no. hours of advanced, uh, advanced brush technique. Is Adva like... Advanced brush licking. <laughs> Love the nothing's a non toxic paint. You, you can't learn that from a junk website. <laughs> But yeah, no, it's, it's, yeah. It's just, people do it subconsciously. There you go. Yeah, see? Uh, so I just, I just did it there. Um, if you're using paints that aren't acrylic, that's when you start to know. If you're using like a, a, an oil wash and you've had to fit it down with um, thinners, that's not a good thing to put in your mouth. And you start seeing shapes on the wall. Then yeah, then that's, then it's, that, that's so no, I mean, I don't condone it. Um, it, it is disgusting, but. It's a habit. It's like picking your nose. Yeah. There are worse habits. Uh, cool. Well, I'm quite happy with that so far. Mm. Okay. That's coming up. Right. I might bring it up just on the sand. I might bring it up just one more shade. 
because I think it'll blend in with the battle mat a bit more. But then I want I want to try some masking now, some some road. Yeah, that's looking like really good. Um, yeah. The cracks are really more prominent now. Yes, of, um... yeah. So yeah, all I've, what I've done with the cracks um, <laughs> is I've just done, got some watered down black and I've just drawn it in. And then if it's if it's gone over the either, either side of the crack, I've just flicked it off with my thumb. That's why my thumb's dirty. I've just quickly wiped it away with my thumb. Um, so yes, or sponged it off with a bit of wet. Wet that? tissue? What are you after, my friend? Gunmetal girl. Oh, so I've got plenty on my. Uh, That's a uniform grey. That's not what you want. <laughs> this one here. There it is. There you oh, go. Thank you very you much. Go. Oh, right. oh, so, what I might do now is, well, that tarmac is dry. Because I want to mar I want to put some masking tape on the sort of tarmac area to do some road markings. Um, but I want it to dry off first because I thought it lifting the paint. Yeah, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a sort of very dark well it was all black but with a little bit of the sand color in it but just the smallest amount um and i'm just going to run that over some of the edges okay just, just to, cover up the card just to cover up the card area yeah. of it nice. and the, i've done it i've watered it down so it's not too dark and then it will seep in it'll just um give it a bit more realism i guess and again if i go over because it's card and it's um quite glossy um you can just wipe it straight off Oh, cool. Right, hobby plans at the moment. Anyone doing anything hobby? Uh, hobby based? Well, we've anything been got... having some cracking games with Shades Fire on our lunch breaks. Uh, mm. Oh, okay. Our... Yeah, I'm not trying to show you. It's been our, a little office jam at the moment. Um, yeah, it's been fun. Just something that we can play on our lunch breaks. Like ten, you get a couple of games in like ten minutes. It's great. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah, super yeah. great. I mean, there's no narrative to it as we discovered, uh, but it's a good fun game. It's um, kind of like. A card game with figures, isn't it? Yeah, like, right. Yeah. Kind of like magic -y type, type yeah, thing. Yeah, it's, it's deck building and miniatures. It's, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we can do that. So I might try and paint some of uh, the war bands up this weekend. But I, I see what I've, I've got. Still goblins to finish off. Uh, yeah. Uh, depends how antisocial I feel when I want to dim the lights and paint goblins and <laughs> listen to goth music. <laughs> it was really hot outside. So I did my days off. I played 80s British goth bands in the dark while painting goblins. What was it you dressed up the other day? What did you call it? American Frontier Goth or something? Oh, uh, Summer, Cow Summer Goth Cowboy. Summer Goth Cowboy. That, that's, my, uh, that's my Australian bush ranger. That's your look, isn't it? Yeah, You're some like, Summer Goth Cowboy. I, I, I spent like a whole week indoors painting goblins, listening to Fields of the Nephilim, and I was like, yeah, I can, I can bring that look back. <laughs> he has uh, a lot of looks, Reese. Uh, yeah. Does he? Does we're, going, we're, going, we're moving into pirate, aren't yeah. we, next? Uh, wow. No, well, not pirate, wow. Not pirate, but sea captain, I think. Yeah. Oh, my word. He started as a trucker yeah. just over a month ago. Oh, kind of, yeah. And I got you. Yeah. Long distance lorry driver, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he spoke in CV uh, terminology for almost a week. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, don't I think, do not I, have a split personality. I don't know if that's <laughs> frightening or annoying. Oh, it's it was hilarious. <laughs> Ten four, good buddy. Because we were in on the joke. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, breaker, breaker. Uh, Lots of um, convoy. Yeah, I mean, uh, I try to eat healthy, but my diet is predominantly jerky and uh, low sugar energy drinks, so, <laughs> which is like a, which is the trucker lifestyle. Which is weird because I am generally quite a healthy eater, but I have a weakness yeah. for jerky. You were vegetarian right until just one day you uh, came in yeah. dressed as a trucker eating jerky. <laughs> <laughs> that was not good stuff now. Uh, yeah, You'd had a bad weekend. Uh, no, it's like a, a year, like, pretty much, of being vegan. It was, uh, wow. It was, it was, that's fine. I, I still eat a lot of food like that, but... I couldn't be vegan, I don't think. It's, it's a lot easier than people think it is, but just some dietary things, which wants to, like... You know. Uh, yeah, that's like, that was like... Uh, if, I, if, I, if I'd done it five years ago, I don't think I'd have done it as well. Because I think the, the the level of like awareness and veganicity, yeah, and it's the, the the accessibility of stuff is there, yeah, um, you know. But I, I, said, I found I got a, a lot of jerky. It seems. Mm, yeah. Were they? Are you, um, I don't know. If Please it, sponsor it, it, me, check links. <laughs> uh, I don't. I don't know if the. Um, if the if, if this place is there, but there used to be. Um, are you going to do? The Raider right. tier, it's more legal that way. Yeah, so <laughs> are you going to do the Raiders scene? What, yeah, dress look. up as Raiders. Uh, Raiders look, yeah. Well, we're gonna get uh, Charlie and then Slave Tech, yeah. Charlie's our own Slave Tech. Uh, our friend John is a super mutant overlord, <laughs> uh, does not look like one, but he is now. Uh, 
Yeah, we can do Raiders, sure. I need to figure out what Hull and Moore wears, to be honest. Yeah, you do. Because I, yeah, I, well, should, you know, I don't know if we... Did we say last week we're, that we were looking at cosplaying do, or doing a bit of cosplay from the last stream? We didn't, did but we I guess we have now announced it. We have now. So, <laughs> so it's now been announced live. Oh, now we have to, don't we? Uh, we I, said, I did say we were thinking about it. Right. That's, um, you know, just because it's on the internet doesn't mean it's true. I was hoping we were going to pull the prank of like all of us will tell Charlie we're doing it, and then only Charlie comes in costume. Yeah, but Charlie's not. It's Charlie's the overseer. Yeah, so it'd be even wackier, wouldn't it? Why is he come dressed up? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's Charlie. Make Ellen wear a box. We should so make Ellen wear a box. I want Ellen to wear a box. Cricket box or a box box? No, but well, last week his character spent most of the time in a crate. Oh, okay. Just being being stealthy. Yeah. <laughs> Much like he does in the office. <laughs> Much like what he does in the office. Yeah. Right, I'm going to give masking a go. I'm not sure if my paint's dry yet, but I'm going to throw caution to the wind. All right, let my... Um, We're going to get a behind-the-scenes question. Charles, 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 Yes, Medivis Mondays. Yeah, yeah that's um, this Monday coming. Yes, I will be there. Or was the 12th? Two of, uh, two of our guys in War Games, and plus Charlie, will be doing Fallout and War Game and also RPG, I believe. Um, nice. I think James Sheehan's going also. I think James uh, Sheehan is going. Yes, yeah, so you, can, you can meet the rules writer, the man himself. Yeah, the man, um, the myth, the legend. Yeah, so we'll be all playing. So I'm sure me and Ethan will be going to some at some point. Yeah. Uh, I think it's the Shepherd's Bush one, isn't it? It is the Shepherd's Bush one, yeah. It's fairly oh. close to here, but uh, so, Waterloo would so be preferable. So hard to get home, yeah. Yeah, if it's uh, Waterloo, that's fine, because it's my neck of the woods. Um, yeah, I sadly aren't going. I aren't, aren't going. I'm not going, because, because be I've, um, more volunteering for I've got it. a game booked already. Uh, a bit of column A and a bit of column B. Yeah, uh, I enjoy it. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's nice, and uh, you know, I like playing games, and I like painting, and if there's a chance to show things off, um, yeah. People, that's great. And yeah, I enjoy. I enjoy uh, it. You know, so I, I, I would jump at the chance to um, to do a live stream. So, I yeah, so for me, yeah, there's no there's no cajoling here. I'm more than happy to do it. Oh, I've got really fat fingers. I'm not doing well with this masking tape. It's okay though. It's okay. Yeah, I'm not going to go too crazy on the, uh, the the riveting. But if you want. to Ah, so the RPG on Monday, uh, Midi for Monday, Star Trek, being run, run, run by our very own Virginia. Very so cool. So, Charlie will not be doing that invitation. No. Oh, I mean, He'll be he brought, thinks he is. Brought down to Earth <laughs> for the rest yeah. of us. Charlie so. will be, should be preparing for uh, our, <laughs> our RPG stream. Oh, it's fine. Just at the morning of every week. Yeah, it's fine. actually books are being held hostage. Um, so, yeah, uh, check out the Star Trek one, though. I've got picked up the starter set recently it's a really good read and uh, if you like star if you like star trek it's i'm oh, sure I, i'm sure there's a good chance if you're watching this you probably do like star trek i love a bit of star trek yeah i love a bit of star when trek. we talked uh when we were set up a quake about the card trailer which looks oh, awesome yeah we're finally the chance to watch it all it was so good really um, really looking although forward to that. the fact that there's still no riker spin-off series will, will apparently he's going to be in it though well then that's fine i take it all back he's directing so, so jonathan frakes is directing oh, cool so what do you think is it, it going to be like street like kind of I was thinking, well, I, w I mean, I was going to do like the white lines, mm. but America's roads uh, don't really have them. Yeah. Like the ones, I mean, the interstates and stuff do, but like the routes, they do have them, but this is kind of like driving up to a place and they don't really have them. It's And if you look at the battle map, it's just got the, the thin yellow lines. Yeah. So I'm kind of just trying to mimic that. So, yeah. But yeah, no, so, so apparently Riker and Troy are going to be in uh, Picard as well. So. That should be because obviously Riker should be yeah. uh, the I'm... captain of the Titan still. A wharf. What of Wharf? What of Wharf, eh? Will it, will it be two? How many episodes will it be? Can I try to work out how many hours it would be of someone telling him no, which is. How many hours? Well, yeah. most seasons are 12 to 14. So do you reckon it'll be 14 episodes, hour long each, I assume? Well, if it, remember, it's going to stream, so they will vary between 45 minutes and an so... hour and 10. Because yeah. it doesn't have to stick with the conventions of um, normal television scheduling because of adverts. I just like the idea of them just constantly telling Warp no. <laughs> that's basically what happens for the whole next generation. It'd be nice. Well, to, to be fair, Wolf should be... Every suggestion he says, no, we're not doing that. Well, Wolf may still be on DS9. Did he stay on DS9? I can't remember. Not seen if it's as well. Or did he go after the Klingon Empire again? I can't remember. Anyway. So yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, but yeah, seven or nine, she's in it. 
Oh yeah, she was. Um, so Seven of Nine's going to be in it, and so it'd be a bit of a oh, spoilers. Out. Anyone, if you haven't seen the Picard trailer, do apologise. Um, but I don't think you came here for a movie. No, <laughs> movie spoilers. Uh, but um, yes, yeah, so Seven of Nine uh, data. Uh, like, while we're at spoilers, Bruce Willis was already dead in that film. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what Die Hard? <laughs> No, no you're right. Right. Um, look who's talking. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. What is that film called? Six Sense. Six, Six Sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah not, the, 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 the kid in that, the, the Joe. Hayley Joel Osmond. He's, he's in the boys. Uh, he, he crops up in that. Oh, really? Boys. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. He's a. Uh... Ah, uh, okay, cool. Because he looks vastly different, doesn't he? Obviously, because yeah. he's, he's grown up as an adult. But, um, yeah. Uh, what was the, uh, Wolf of the New became the Federation of Battles to Kron- uh, Kronos. Okay. Then divvied around on the Enterprise Eve for the last bit. Well, yeah, they trying to kept on finding ways for him to be on the E, wasn't he? So in first contact, um, the Defiant was um, crippled, but salvageable, I remember. So they beamed him and part of the crew on board. Um, what was one after that? It was, um, was that Riker's wedding on the second film, uh, Insurrection? The reason why he was there? And then I can't remember why he was on the. Or well, that might have been the third one. It was Riker's wedding. I don't know. Like, yeah, I kept on writing. Oh, it was some. No, so one of them was an ambas- ambassadorial meeting, and he was there. And then one of them was Riker and Troy's wedding. They kept on having to write ways of getting um, Wolf back on the Enterprise because he was on DS9. He'd gone off to another another show, so that kept on writing ways to actually put him back on the Enterprise for some reason. <laughs> what are you doing? He, around, Ethan has no clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> I've seen one episode of The Next Generation. Space Which Jam. one? The first episode. Encounter at Farpoint? Yes. Oh dear. Has got Admiral... And you've seen Space Jam. And it has got Admiral... <laughs> I have seen Space Jam. And it's got Admiral McCoy in it as well. Yeah, Admiral McCoy. Right. Trivial facts with Reese. Thank you, Lloyd. <laughs> hey, it's how we win pub quizzes. How's oh the, yeah, that's a good a good question. How's the painting going on, everyone? What are we uh, doing? I've got locked into the detailing zone, so that's okay. Right. Yeah, so I'm just no, it's nothing crazy. Just, well, you're uh, just doing the rivet. <laughs> what you're doing is riveting, Giles. It's a riveting. Yeah, exactly. We can <laughs> rivets within rivets. Oh, you want to? You washing? Uh, uh, no, I'm still doing my ties. But still I've, doing I've, I've come down with shaky hands, so I've ruined yeah. a lot of the car. It's okay because <laughs> you're going to weather it, and it'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah, and I have been. I put some. Glass and tape down, and, and I've been stippling on some yellow in between. Um, I'm not running. I'm, I'm, I want the yellow. I want the yellow to fade. So I'm just going to do two lines, and then they'll they'll just fade off. So as you say, the idea of the road was kind of running this way, and then the sand's gone over it. So yeah. uh, can we have a table cam breakdown of the Corvega, please? Yeah. Table cam. Table cam. Table cam. So currently, I'm using yellow over grey. So. This will be many coats. Yeah. But I am stippling. Can we see that? Corvega is on the can, guys. There you go. Yeah. Brilliant. Boom, look at that. Look at that sweet ride. That is a sweet ride. I'd love that as a car. There's a guy down there. I don't know, he's, maybe he's wants to put the wheels on. Kind of muscle car, and it's really kind of. Because a car actually is that color on our street. It's like a, a Buick, like one of real low rider kind yeah, of cars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, fixing it up. Kind of like. I like rat rods. I do like a rat rod, but you can't really have rat rods in this country because of the emissions. Well, that's it. The car that this guy's got on our street, it looks like it's uh, a really big polluter, you know. Yeah. Because <laughs> obviously a lot of the rat rods are run on, on diesel and they and, and they just like spew out so much smoke. If anyone wants to buy a diesel Ford one day, we can <laughs> Get a new car. Uh, no, it's uh, no, it's Dewitt's MOT. It's Dewitt's MOT. Ah, and you uh, found out they're living in London. No, you don't really need uh, a car. Yeah, it's um, everywhere you go. It's, you can't drive it. It's easy. Yeah. Oh, do you have to do the, the emissions thing? Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, know, I know there's certain parts that are hack, hacking you can't drive through, but I don't, I don't, I don't mess with hacking. I just. <laughs> I, just say I don't. I don't mess with hacking. I just say in a stay in South London. Yeah. It's safe. Yeah. I think. Uh, yeah, no, it's it's very strange. So we have I don't know for for any of the um, uh, uh, American and European uh, watchers, 
We have in, in central London there is an, an Ethan, uh, an Ethan charge. There's an Ethan charge. There's an Ethan charge. So if you call called Ethan, you get, you get charged. I'm so oh, broke. <laughs> there, there is an emissions charge uh, for certain cars of a certain age. Uh, and it's daily and it's about £12 a day. Actually, it's just a toll booth of a guy called Ethan. He yeah. just takes your money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's what, that's what we're talking about. So, um, so cars like the Corvette would not be allowed in central London. Uh, there's no emissions from it. Oh, I mean, are they electric? They run on um, nuclear, nuclear power. Oh, well, they, well <laughs> they, each car has I a think small nuclear reactor. <laughs> they do emit something. <laughs> it's radiation, everyone. Because yeah, the Red Rocket isn't actually a gas station. No. It's a coolant yes. station. Yes, <sighs> it is. Yeah. But, you know. If you want to pop that on the camera. See the riveting rivets. The riveting rivets. Go on, you, go on, I'll get out of your way. There you go. Sorry, thank you. Riveting rivets. Oh, Giles, they're really, I'm going to show everyone. They're really show good. Everyone. Look, Ma, this is what years of university and <laughs> yeah. career. I've made service, it, Mum. Top of the world. Working in IT, I finally <laughs> reached my ambition of painting uh, rivets on a painting stream. On oh, a painting stream. <laughs> Top of the world, Ma. Yeah, I'm not being too. Um, Soon you'll be ready for a Sherman. <laughs> Uh, pass the uh, rocket back. Uh, yeah, sure. Right, I'm gonna... feel it a little bit patchy, but it's it's all right. It's Fallout. That's a good. That's, that's a good excuse for Fallout. I am not judging you. I am going to reveal <laughs> See, my stripe. This is where. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> madam. No, I'm going to reveal my. I say, I have. It's stippling yellow in between my two bits of masking tape. Oh, yeah. this, this is. We might get that. This is Tamiya yeah. masking tape, by the way. If anyone's, this is Tamiya. You just buy it. I think it was three or four quid Amazon. Right. Yeah, should I put it on the close-up cam and do a yeah, bit of, and, and see if it reveal? Yeah. This is live, everyone. I don't even know what this is going to look like. Let's do this. Let's see. Let's put that there. I might have to get you to reveal because I don't want to stretch over you. Well, you want me to just pull the tape off? Oh, look. Yeah, look. That's, yeah, pull that tape. Which, Slow. which direction? Uh, let's go. Yeah, from the from the front would be easy. If you go, I'll hold it. So go. Reveal. Reveal. Oh. That's as far as. I... Yeah, that's all right. Keep going. Yeah, it's just not stuck in down there. That's Ooh. it. Anyway, and and tougher one. Which hopefully will get me a nice line. Whoa! Happy with that? Very nice. That's good. There it goes. Look at that. Oh, nice. Oh, that's worked perfectly. That looks really cool on the. Uh, the there we go! Yay! Throw them over there. There you go. That's it was very tidy. Yeah, that's so we got a tidy, tidy. It was very tidy. That's because I masked it off. That was very cool. Yeah, I'm just doing a little bit of the, uh, the little one of the punks just to pumps or punks. Punks. Oh, <laughs> I painted a punk. <laughs> now the trick is: do I do another one next to it to do two thin lines? Oh, <gasps> Got to have I have I got to? I think I've got to. Spoiling the viewers. I know, right? With my, <laughs> hey everyone, so turn next week for me to stick down with masking tape. Because <laughs> then at least we know where we can't park the car. We've yeah, because we've got a pair of double yellows there. Yeah, <laughs> right. I don't think double yellows are the same. Single parking ward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. There you go. That's a dev team in joke. <laughs> You cool ghoul. Well, that's a janitor. A ghoul janitor. Well, we've got we've got a whole ghoul force of just civil servants, haven't we? Yeah, <laughs> we give them all the most mundane jobs. It's like, <laughs> it's like you See, we're, we're currently writing scenarios for upcoming releases. Okay, and we're trying to fit in a ghoul janitor somewhere. We don't know where the joke came from, yeah. but he's going to be in yeah. as many scenarios as we can put in. The cool uh, janitor. Okay. Cool. He's been cool. cleaning since the war started. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so yeah, so kind of like that, kind of like a an ingrained sort of muscle, um, yeah, muscle memory kind of thing. What What else has he got to do? Just you know. No, well, exactly. You know, Continue raid the wasteland, I guess, and dribble on people. As is the one. Dribble on people. Well, yeah. why not? He's a ghoul. Ah, <laughs> goodness. Uh, they're not all feral, you know. <laughs> Ghouls against humanity. I have got uh, hardened carapace. Uh, Matt Black is there. Yeah, Watch yeah, it. I, it is incredibly runny. That one. Yeah, I just he's a really I just good shape. Fill up some of the bits where the primer didn't get um, 
on the pump. Okay. Yeah, that's the. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, that's runny. Yeah, that's it, it actually could do with yeah. a ball bearing in it to shake it up a bit. That a little, okay. little dab will do you. So I'm going in for my second Euro 9. Like I say, if it does lift off, it doesn't really matter. Because it's the it wasteland. Just, it just adds to the effect, doesn't it? Yeah. Which is, you know, one of the good things about post-apocalyptic, as I've mentioned previously. It's, you know, it doesn't matter. If it looks bad, it's good. If it looks bad, yeah. yeah. If it looks bad, yeah, exactly. Which is perfect for me. So, yes, yeah, so I say, yeah, so I can't make Modifius Mandy, unfortunately. I was going to go, but I've got a game. I've got a game of um, 40k booked in with my Eldar X lights. Yes. Yeah. So what? You're, you're not playing all that waste on warfare in your own time, Is that what you're telling me? Uh, not on. My, I would have. I would have come down on Monday and played. <laughs> yeah. But no. I've, no I've, we'll, I've, do, we'll do some more. But the thing with, with with our games club, we kind of try to pre-book games. Yeah. So you're not just turning up and hoping for it. So we try, we tend to be pre-book games, and I'd actually pre-booked it on Monday night after it, and not thinking yeah anyway because everyone who is anyone will be at modifius monday yeah so clearly i'm not anyone so which is fine i can live with that no comments in chat please <laughs> well, i think yeah me and ethan will be uh on the next ones yeah it's not far from here no no it's not it's it really not. isn't far from here it's about 25 minutes on the overground oh look you know what? I've not washed this brush once. I've stippled grey with it. I've done dry brushing with it, and I haven't washed it. And it's still quite soft. Now that will dry out. So it will I'm dry thinking out with this rocket, I should put a little bit more of a rust colour using the sponge. So what what colour do you reckon out of all these? Well, as it's quite a dark red, you're gonna yeah. need, you're almost gonna need a really dark brown. Mm, and I can like, like do what do grey and start with a dark brown and then get a little bit lighter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you're really going to... So, I mean, I'm literally thinking the brown with a bit of black in it. Like, I'm really thinking of doing like, to the, stand out. that like, oxide-y kind of look. Like, uh, it is, oh, sorry, someone's asking. Well, but if it's Monday, is that Dark Spheres, uh, Shepherd's Bush Branch? There we go. I don't know the address, sadly. All uh, I know is it's the Shepherd's Bush Branch. I mean, one thing I will say about these paints, I guess Wizard's Orb is such a great name. For a yeah, band. right. <laughs> I mean, that'd be the name of my, my like, epic heavy metal band. Wizard's yeah, Orb. Wizard's Orb. Um, it probably does sound like half the CDs in my collection. Uh, yeah, so, um, let's have a look at These are Gothic Cowboys CDs. Oh, all sorts. It's, uh, <laughs> uh, Giles the Gothic Cowboy. They only release on a cassette, actually. <laughs> Eight track. <laughs> uh, let's have a look with colour browns. Have a look. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're gonna, I reckon you're going to you want that one there. Look, what's that? That's, that's wet mud. That's right? wet mud. Oh, there, oak it? brown. Oak, oak brown is probably yeah, one. Yeah, and I can then do a slightly lighter one. Yeah, I think that is the one because it needs to be really dark against that red. Yeah, and then you can lighten up. And you're right. I need some sort of black wash. Okay. So I think it's the washes have got. Tone. Yeah, so uh, dark tone, isn't it not? Strong tone is one that's slightly brownish, but that is a bit more like a dark. But dark oh, tone yeah. is black. Brown, brown will be fine. Try that one out. I think that's. Uh, I mean, the, that. Black I feel is, this is what we used last week. But, yeah, yeah, the the matte black is really wet enough. You just really water it down and make a real light ink, I guess. But. So we've not seen anyone's it, it, images this week. No one's sent us any images. Come on, Jetson J must have painted some of this Yeah, week. some of you guys must have painted something this week. Well, or even please. if you put something together. You know, if you put something together. Have your Raiders weirdly turned up early? Well, <laughs> they won't have been early if they got the bundle. No, they could have got the bundle a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, yeah the bundle have been available. Um, I've seen a lot of people in the Facebook group posting their Raiders. And cool. I'm like, oh, I got mine before you and I've still not touched them. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a bus was holy though, isn't it? To be fair, it means I can steal all their ideas. This is true. This is always true. Uh, hey, nice one, Hex Blue. He's put the um, Eventbrite tickets up. So that's a good idea. Yeah, no, the, have you ever been to the Archway Shepherd's Bush? I've been Huge. to the Waterloo Store. Oh, it's bigger than the Waterloo one. Once. Giles yeah, I've been to took the... me and we went to play D&D. It was very loud, and I couldn't hear this. <laughs> well, and you are under, yeah, it's, it's, acoustically it's awful, and you're under a train line. Yeah. And it's a main train line into London. Um, but no, the Shepherd's Bush one's amazing. It's, it, yeah. I think it was like an old sports direct. 
and it's down, <laughs> yeah, and, and, yeah, it, was, yeah, and it's downstairs, so the ceilings are quite low, so the sound doesn't travel. Oh, it's okay. acoustically br- really good, so it's good for role playing. It's good for you know if, if people are playing forty k or any and or and I, I say forty k because most 40K, any, yeah. well most forty k games are quite usually quite noisy. Yeah, <laughs> in my experience. Yeah, they can get quite noisy. That's the only one. Not so, like a civilized fallout. That's well, yeah. precisely right. Um, but usually they get good, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't really affect um, anywhere else. So if you're running okay. a role play, it won't really affect. Yeah. So that's got good. Right. I'm going to reveal the second line now. Ooh, I like this brown over the metal. Here we go. Punk. Yeah, and the tickets are free as um, someone's pointed out. Yeah. Yeah. Free tickets. Outrageous. Something for free in the UK. In London. In London. <laughs> it might, with my reputation. Yeah, we'll Outrageous. Right. Well, I, yeah, I keep missing. Can we only? We can only see if you reveal on the dice cam. Oh, sorry. Um, I didn't reveal, but I'll put in this. I'll put in this. There you go. I'll do a close up. Yes, I should have revealed it on the dice cam, shouldn't I? Really? But I wasn't sure if it was going to lift the paint. <laughs> I don't previously put down, so that's why I didn't do it. But there we go. Second line in. There that's you go. Good. I like it. Yeah, I was like, I've stippled it as well, so it kind of looks like it's a little bit worn out. So there you go. So second line on. Again, it's just one of those things. It's just a little detail hmm. that will just bring it and lift yeah, it somewhat. Right. Just that's, bring really, it to, that's really it nice. just brings it to life a little bit. And I've also got my um, bits of corrugated. No, oh. <laughs> hi Sal. Sorry. <laughs> um, I've got my little bits of um, corrugated iron that I made last week. Oh, of course. Yeah. Which I'll put on the, on the close up cam. Close up cam. There we go. I'll put them on there. Oh, there's another little bit there. There we go. So, I've got these as well, which I can glue around and decorate. Which I can add. So, I should do that now. I should start gluing these on. As um, I've just looked at the clock. It is. It's it's corrugated cardboard. It is. I've got it here. I brought some in with me. In case anyone asks. It is. Oh, wait. I haven't got it. It's almost as if I prepared. Me and Ethan is natural. So there you go. Yeah. Close, close up cam. <laughs> we're what, Giles? We, we, we're naturals. We just winged it, you know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, it's just corrugated card. Um, it looks like we had no idea we'd be here. You today. can pick it up from any good craft shop. Uh, I think I've got a pack of this, like 20 sheets for about three or four quid. Yeah, not bad. And yeah, I painted it last week. Don't show if anyone watched that. Um, and then just cut it out, and then I've cut it into little bits to decorate. Or green screen something funky on that later. <laughs> yeah, I, I should have brought the blue one. Well, no, that wouldn't have worked. Any colour, really. I, I did watch the first 10 minutes of our uh, previous stream on YouTube I oh. yesterday, and you hold up that, uh, just like that, right in front of you, and I'm like, oh. Tell you, I can tell you, Tubby. Yeah, it's green screen something there. Yeah, I could have been a telly Tubby. <laughs> so I'm going to glue some of these on now. And what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to be sneaky sly, and there's a bit of where I've chipped off the paint on the road. But so I'm going to glue <laughs> this right over it, and you'll never know. Except you just tore it, bro. Uh, yeah, I think it's fine. There you go. So yeah, I'm going to start putting some of these corrugated on again. It's just a little detail, just to give it a bit of lift. And of course, this in reality, this wouldn't take that long the only reason it's taking us this long because we're, we're talking and <laughs> i don't know this is generally yeah. the case i go no, really? yeah. <laughs> and then i just go into some weird zone where i hunch up and my, my posture goes wrong as well, see, I, yeah, I, i'm slightly quicker than i this. do i do start like a good posture but I the, the closer into, to the yeah. table i am the more with my, with my the mouth more opens and tongue hangs out and my eye just goes blank i've yes. got i've got a bit of a reputation for being able to smash out figures and armies quickly the quickest my quickest army well, I've ever done. It must be nice to live in your planet. It does. It's a lovely place. <laughs> and the, no, no airbrushing as well. The quickest army I've built and painted was the day before a tournament, and I did it in 13 hours, wow. 1,750 points. For I mean, game. for me, those goblins I've been doing, I have, I've, I've, I've oh, wow. a bit, they, that sort of washes, and that, I was going through at a fair pace, and then 
I got distracted by other stuff, but generally speaking, like I found that was a quick way. Ain't that the truth, eh? Oh, well, I'm gonna finally sit down and paint this. Oh, so what news come out? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Ain't that something? Yes, oh, I, ha I have been known to take a day off work the day before a tournament to get something, to get an army literally painted because I changed my mind of what I'm doing. But the day before, I go, I don't want this to do this army anymore, I'm going to do this instead. <laughs> oh, did you really? Did you take a day off? <laughs> You're allowed a holiday. <laughs> Are phone, we? <laughs> I'm phoning sick to do it. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to get too crazy with them, but I think I've put enough on the mic. Oh, I'll drop it. Oh, sorry. There we go, let that dry. But yes, I can smash out. Smash out armies I pretty quickly. Really good. Thank you. Yeah, I, I like that. Think, uh, Thanks, guys. I, I think we should co-op that for uh, one of the demo kits. Please do. Yeah. Oh, if it gets used, of course I wanted to get used. But, um, or even one of the testing dip, tables next door. Dip, right? dip, yeah. Dips not transporting it to a uh, convention. Oh, it's fine. Uh, you won't get funny looks. No. Yeah. Not when it's Crypt. finished, anyway. No. Like, let's go Crypt Wraith. I'm just going to do some of the. Uh... What is the email for sending in pictures? Uh, I believe it's support at modifius.com. Um, but if someone can correct me on that, if that's uh, not correct. Reese's Funky Pictures. Reese's Funky Pictures dot com. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, do not go to that. <laughs> no. I, so, cannot, I, cannot, so, I, I cannot, cannot confirm nor deny <laughs> if that's a real, <laughs> real so website. We've verified it. <laughs> yeah. Don't visit it. It was, yeah, it was support. And if you get any links from Reese's Funky Pictures at uh, yeah, .com, do it's, not click on any links. No, <laughs> no, it's not me. I do not. Own, it, it is him. It's just you do not want the link. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's not me. I do not own them. Don't Google that. Whatever you do, no, don't Google that. Whatever you do. Um. Ooh, are we going to have something up on the screen very soon then? I Pepsi hope so. Yeah. yeah, that'd be really cool, man. It'd be nice to see. Um, some other people's stuff, as opposed to uh, my face. And my rubbish. <laughs> yeah, rubbish at all. It's looking good, I look at that. It's supposed to look rubbish. Yeah, but that's going to look wicked. I reckon we should have that underneath here. I reckon that'll look wicked. Definitely. Just sort of beached at the side. I think that'll look really yeah, smart. I'll still do the back, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that'll be I awesome. keep thinking I've done it, and then I find somewhere else that I've missed. Oh, so. yeah. So, I don't know if you can close up cam this one, but I've glued some of my... Do you want to move you on the base? Oh, there we go, there you go. So a bit of close up cam now. I've, I'm not sure if you can see that, but I've started gluing on my, well, I have glued on my, um, it's a corrugated iron, just to give it a bit of depth. There we go. That doesn't look too bad. So, yeah, so underneath the little bit of wider stripes, there was a chip. It so looks... I've, I've just glued it straight over the chip. <laughs> it looks really good. Because I'm cheap. So, yeah, no, I'm pleased that. Thanks, man. I'm pleased. Yeah, yeah I, I think that's really good. I'd like that. Again, it's I'd, just. No, I'd like now, I mean, you could probably leave that as it is. You know, yeah. and once you've got the roof in it again, I have no, got the roof. This is where it comes, isn't it? It's like it, I could leave it. This is the thing. That, yes, is the, this is the point of any yeah. miniature. You go. That's fine as it is, or is it? It's GI yeah, generally go. Yeah, it is. No. <laughs> Sometimes it depends. Sometimes you get to that point where you're like, I think a sign. I think of any painting modding is knowing when to call it quits and something. Yeah. And generally, it's what I always find. Generally, I've got, when it's the face. I've got a little bit better at that over the years. Yeah. Like, there are times we always feel you want to go the extra. Mile. Like now, I know never to bother with eyes. <laughs> so oh, I, I don't paint eyes. No, because yeah, that's the thing. Only I always... a competition manager would I ever paint an eye. Oh look, have to found some of my plastic tube. So um, ah. I'm going to put some of that on for a bit of detailing. But I didn't bring any clippers uh, in, so I can't put any rebar on. So, what do you think, guys? Do you reckon I should uh, go for more of a like a kind of a cop that kind of like oxidized kind of color? Mm -hmm. A bit of brown, just a bit. That's gonna look cool on there, isn't it? That's yeah. gonna be wicked, man. That's really gonna set that off. And then the car thing. underneath it was gonna, gonna make yeah. this whole this whole thing uh, um, sing, yeah, isn't it? Really? Yeah, they want a they want a close up, Giles. Yeah, pop it down the. Here we go. Uh, is it best to go sideways? So the cat. Yeah. Sideways on the cat. Yeah. Look at that. And then I'm just gonna just slowly lightening up some of the uh, little bits of detail inside the pump. Looks really good, Giles. It does look yeah. really smart, man. Um, I'm trying to think, I'm not sure if I want to put like a, like, like that toxic mist, like little dabbings to give that kind of um, Ooh, yeah, nice some verdigris. Yeah. yeah that look like... good. Yeah, some verdigris, but what was some of this stuff? Is it this stuff? Oh, handy toxic mist. Toxic, toxic mist. mist. Oh, we've got, that one is a little bit more yeah. vivid. Elemental bolt is a bit more, 
Or a stronger colour? Mm. Yeah, I could really like. Well, this it's is, up to you. This up is to you, toxic but... mist. So. Uh, I reckon. Yeah. Well, toxic mist will tie in. Yeah. So if the car yeah. goes on the base, that will tie. Give it. Yeah, exactly. I was thinking of doing like on the boosters. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, thanks, Jim. That is your real name. Do not put things in your mouth. Um, I'm just. Um, <laughs> I'm just breaking up some bits of um, plastic tube that I've got just to again add to the base. Just to give it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, these things get worse. Going to really shake the heck out yeah. of them. I'll give it a little bit of life, and then I'm just. Oh, Jetson J has sent us a picture. Ooh. That sounds awesome. Looking forward well, to that. It's just made of shaking a pot of <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's an unfortunate pot. Right. Um, what colour should we I'll do these bits of pipe? Because I want to do them as a broken one. Right, so I want to lift the colour. We've got red. A bit of yellow, bit of yellow pipe, do you think? It would yeah. lift it a little bit, wouldn't it? Give it a bit of a lift, wouldn't it? So I'm going to do it yellow, but I'm going to start off. With sulfide ochre, and sort of with a dark. Ooka. Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm not undercoating either. I'm going straight on. Again, it's going to be glued onto the base, and then I've got to weather it. So I'm not entirely bothered by that. Again, I haven't cleaned this brush. I'm going straight on with it, and hopefully we'll have Jackson Jay's picture up soon. Let's just give that a bit of a few coats. Because so this is effectively is a base coat I'm doing and undercoat. So the next colours I can put on. And now I'll get covered in paint as I stipple paint all over it. How are we getting on? Have we got have we got pictures yet, everyone? Is it really cool to see? Mm -hmm. Sparing the uh what's it what's it called what's it called? Verdis? Verdis? Verdigree. 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 Coppery. Yeah, verdigree. Yeah, I mean there are some yeah. paints. There are some paints that are called yeah, verdigree. Like, um, yeah, nickelite oxide or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah nickelite oxide. Yeah, I mean you can always do it as like a wash. You know, like so in the seams. Yeah. So what basically what it's where it's where the water collects. Oh yeah. So, so if you did it in a few steams yeah. and then just did a couple of runs, yeah. that's that would work. That would look wicked. Like water as well. So yeah. So, uh, so yeah, you just put it in a few seams and yeah, that would look really smart. A little bit of green to that it. Would look so. excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Uber Simpson? Yes, sorry. Exactly. <laughs> Monty Burns. There's a wonderful um, role model for everyone. I need to add a bit more white to my sand that I did on the base yeah. last week because it hasn't really. I needed to pop a bit. But you know, for that reason why I wash this brush out. It's because at the end of today I can just throw it away because it cost me a quid. <laughs> well, it didn't even cost me a pound. I got two of them for a pound. <laughs> so it's 50p. So, you know. Well, that's quick maths. I know, right? <laughs> you, can see, you can see why I'm I can see why I'm on the sales team. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's how it works, you see. I don't have to get my phone out for that. <laughs> so Exactly. So yeah, you can just yeah, I mean I won't, I will use it because I, you know. It's just mm. the entire wrong paint. Uh, recycle and all that. <laughs> Here we go. What have we got? So, oh, Super nice. Mutants by Jetson J. Yeah, nice, man. That looks good. That bot was really cool in his hand. Mm. And that, weapon, that weapon looks a bit like Elton. That's cool. That does look like Elton. <laughs> looks, like, looks, like, look, looks like Elton. That is excellent, man. Nice work. Really good. I'm glad to see he's got a line cloth on. Oh. That was frightening, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Don't know if you tuned in, Giles, but. Uh... Someone stripped a super mutant naked on Wednesday. Uh, is there any names that need to be named for that uh, <laughs> crime? Well, it wasn't me. And it wasn't me. And Charlie was the overseer. Oh, God. Degenerates. It was <laughs> by mistake. I mean... Was it? I think it was. You know, <laughs> super mutants are afforded some degree of, uh, you know, respect. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and, and the T-shirt for this movement is available <laughs> from our merch store. What, you know, like, super I mutants mean, appeal to pe the people too, just man. Just because you see a super mutant in a loincloth does not give you a right to <laughs> take a peek. You know, it's like... cosplay's not consent, right? Exactly. Yeah, shame on you. Yeah. Uh, I painted my first SMs to resemble the Teenage Mutant Ninja. Oh, oh I painted my first Super Ah, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. 
Sweet. Brilliant. If you have any more of those, send them over to me. Yeah. Because that sounds really Anyone cool. Anyone else want to send some pictures over? Do we have an orange? Oh, we have oranges. Now, the one I like is... Later on, orange. Blues. Blues. Pretty good. It goes very good. It absolutely does. Yeah. Um... Is there a, a sort of a brighter? That, the so, one right next to your right So hand. this is the brightest red red. The other one. This one. Yeah. That's, that's an orange? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this one is the, weirdly, it's the Mars red, because it's not really a red. It's like that kind of really like... I'll go for a rust. That'll do. Uh, is that too orange? That's, that's, uh, personally, I think it's too orange. Okay. Um, You want to err on the side of brown more. Uh... There must be a red. There is a rusty. I'm sure there's a rust colour. A good one is, I said, is Mars red. If we can find that one, because that one, uh, you done it. There's dry, well, there's dry rust there. No, um, dry rust. That should do. <laughs> there we go, uh, everyone. But, the Mars red one is uh, that was pretty. That's pretty good. That one. Uh, there you go. See, it's almost like we planned it. So, what's your uh, plan for the interior? Uh, I might leave the interior as it is. You know. Or wait for when the workbench is up. There are, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. exactly. Well, that's one of the good things because obviously oh, not been good synergy. Yeah, well, yeah, oh, oh. yeah. So, yeah, so, the, um, so yes, so there's some explain to the nice people what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, workbenches. So yeah. uh, you can get in Fallout Four. Obviously, any crafting is done on a workbench. So I think we're going to release a uh, chem workbench, a weapons workbench. And nice. where, where else would you find a workbench than in a garage? So. Well, yeah, nice. So, yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be cool, cool to put in there. We could do that. I don't think we'd do that on a stream. But, um, ah. <laughs> well, they're also not out yet. So. This is very true. Yeah, we've probably got pre-production models somewhere. We're probably on someone's desk somewhere. Well, we've got the studio ones because we use them on most Fallout Fridays. Yeah. This is very watery. Yeah, again, like I say, I mean, there's, there's certain paints are watery, certain paints aren't. It's just that's that, that's probably why I end up using lots of different um, different brands. Yeah, because you know sometimes the water, you know, if they if I, if I do go down the route of having to um, thinner paint down for an airbrush, I'd rather it was watery to start with. Yeah, that makes sense. Is it good? Because I'm, I'm going to steal some of that as well when I, for when I do my pipe. Yeah, I just I dabbed a bit too much of it off onto the... Oh, thing. that's okay. But you can always build it up. That's the good yeah, thing. It's a good thing we're using the sponge. You can just build it up. Grab a bit more of it. Yeah, it's a good work, Jason J. I enjoyed that. That was very cool. I like the Super Mutants. I've got a bit of a, more of a healthy respect for Super Mutants after one day. Uh, when, Wednesday. When yeah. We, yeah, even though we obliterated them. We absolutely trashed we them. We absolutely didn't smashed didn't them. Did you oh, see that? Oh, man. I was commuting. Hi. Charlie was all like, oh, you're not um, going to survive I, I, this. And we battered them. They were properly battered. I mean, we are, we were critting all over the place, weren't we? Oh, man. That was the problem. We were critting all over the shop. We've never rolled like that. No. Now, usually, my character rolls really well, and then that's it for the entire session. But he was on fire. And so were the super humans. So was I. So was <laughs> so I for a while, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because yeah, um, like... Shandleton threw his Molotovs and they missed the target. And then um, they both um, scattered either side of the target and set fire to the super mutants either side of him. It was brilliant. No, no, it's when he used the uh, the flamethrower in close yeah. combat is when he put me on fire. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't played the RPG yet. Um, so oh, you the, the job. Uh, yeah, I really, um, I'm hoping uh, someone can run, run um, me through it. Um, flamethrower is that well-known melee weapon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Giles, I have an idea for a, a session, so maybe I can run it for you. Oh, oh. mate, and I, if it's the idea I think it is, it'll be wonderful. <laughs> it's the idea we talked about on Wednesday on the way home. It's a brilliant session. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. Put on the oh, that's looking awesome. <coughs> that's looking wicked, man. Oh, We're yeah, doing the close-up cam, guys, for the rock hot. Uh, oh, I, can't wait to, I can't wait to glue that on. That's going to look wicked. See, I've been made conscious about licking my brushes down. I'm wiping them now. Oh, no. <laughs> I've been made conscious about it. Don't let them change your reason. I know. Outrageous, isn't it? Yes, terrible. Don't go change it. There you go. Bit. Yeah, these, I'll tell you what these could do. These could do with some ball bearings in them. To get the paint yeah, so off, off the so bottom. Watery. No matter how much you shape it. Yeah, I could just do a little pack of ball bearings. But... 
But so uh, this is but... like what I was talking about earlier. I hate everything until I can see it coming together. Now that is looking brilliant. Yeah, that rust also... has come up really well. Yeah, that's nice. That is excellent. Yeah. Let me just finish one side and I'll put it on the count. And then and then let people know how you've actually done it. Oh crikey. <laughs> Well, just just, just just show me a bit of sponge and where, and you know where you got your sponge from and <laughs> cheers, Jetson Jay. You said keep licking. <laughs> That's a t-shirt way to happen, isn't keep it? Keep licking, Reese. We all do it. No, 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 no they don't. Is no, no. <laughs> that like when you lick a toad and you get like? <laughs> oh, grammar. <laughs> Yeah, don't lick me. I taste awful. That's why he tastes a sweaty old man. Reese is known for his psychedelic properties. <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> the less said about that, the better, I think. I think we'll move along. Let's have a look. That is looking brilliant. That's, That's really, see? Yeah. Let's have a... It's just amazing how it lifts it, doesn't it? it totally lifts it. Yeah, Giles, take your... Take your rocket take your back. Arm. Take your rocket. Yeah. Um, yeah, that rust was. Checklist. That's come up brilliant. Check that out. We're on. Uh, yeah, we're on close up cam, guys. Let's have a look what that looks like. Yeah, <laughs> Modifius does not condone licking grease. No, I wouldn't <laughs> no. either. No, I wouldn't either. Come on, should be there. Fifteen pounds a lick, though, guys. Fifteen pound. Yeah. Please, I, I, I condone. <laughs> We've got it on the cam. It should be on. It should be coming so, up now. Yay! Oh, oh look at that, man! That looks brilliant. It's proper boss. That is excellent. That looks so good. It's what you might say a mint car. Oh, mint. Oh, Giles. Oh, office and jokes. God. <laughs> That's really good, man. That is actually yeah. perfect. Mate. It's well tetanus. <laughs> that looks brilliant, mate. Well done. Really good. It has come together, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, it's really good. Yeah, it's good. just over an hour. Can I have a, have a look? Yeah, mate, it takes awesome. awesome. Yeah, that's nice. I'm not very good with the sponge effects, so it's kind of getting to it's cool how you've done it. I really like that. Yeah, so, uh, so. So, how have you done that sponge effect? What I did was I picked up the sponge and dabbed, dabbed it. it and dabbed it in random areas. Now you need to put a license plate on it. Um, I've only rusted half the car. He's got to rust over half of the car yet. So um, can you put Modifius One on it? Or something? Oh gosh! <laughs> uh, so was it was it was it just one color or did you mix? Uh, it was just gunmetal, and then I'm using uh, dry rust over the top of it. Okay, so you did the gunmetal first. Gunmetal first. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, gunmetal gave it a strong tone wash. Yeah. And then. Cool, man. Yeah. Good. That's really good. Rusting it up. Yeah. So whenever you get a miniature that has sponge in it, or a carry case where you've got the pluck foam, don't throw that foam away. Oh, I never do. <laughs> don't throw that foam because that's what it is. That's that's pluck foam, isn't it? From yeah. a KR, I believe. From a KR case. Uh, don't ever throw that stuff away. See, uh, miniature, miniature painters and model makers. We are the original recyclers. Because <laughs> we, my, my, my workshop's full up with rubbish. Yeah, well, storage not, locker or something. Yeah, not rubbish, but you know, it's good quality um, packaging and lids. <laughs> you can make some really good terrain from like you know the polystyrene you get from a fridge because it's just so weirdly shaped right there you yeah. go that is my moon base so uh, yeah 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 well you know that's that's spray. how you did it I mean back when I back when I were a lad we didn't have all your funky pre-painted card fit together scenery it was all coke cans and please buy us yes. <laughs> it was all coke cans and books yeah. with cloth over them mm. It's not something that happens often these days, I find. That, you know, just people just scratch building. Yeah, I think terrain. a lot of people are playing shops and stuff though now. Yeah, exactly. I find a lot more people. Well, are, a lot more people are playing in clubs. There's a but there's a bit of a movement towards like the whole crafting your own stuff. Mm. Like, oh no, yeah, but it's see, I see when they bring out new. When, uh, <laughs> thanks, tag. Uh, thanks, guys. Remember, everyone, Reese is old. Oh, physically. Mentally, no. 
Yeah, no, I do. I, you know, I'll see a thing come out and I go, oh, I've got to make, how would I make that? Yeah. So, yeah, that's quite good. That's why when I go to places like Salute, I can't for the life of me name, know the name of the, remember the name of the company. But they do laser cut scenery, but they're not one of the big ones. They're not like TT or Foreground. They're one of like the smaller, more cottage industry um, MDF scenery guys. But they always have these bags, about this big, Ziploc bags, full up with just MDF offcuts. So, you know, like if they make something and then they push out all the bits yeah. they don't need, it's full up with those. So it's circles and really odd shapes. And they sell these bags like that for like two pounds. And I, every year I buy one and I've just got sacks of weird shape M, three millimeter MDF parts. And they're brilliant. Yeah. I mean, if you're detailing something up, you just like, if you've got, like, as you say, something like polystyrene mm. and you find some bit, you just put them on to give it a bit more depth and, and you're not sitting there cutting out of it. Really good. But uh, yeah, if, I, if, I, if I can remember the name, I'll put them in the link with the, the foam mixer. And I'll do it at the same time because it'll be good to give them a props and shout out because if they weren't there, I wouldn't have this resource of all these funky shapes. So, you know, I'll give them, give them props as well. But I don't know if you noticed, when I was popping these out, I kept the circles. So I've kept the round circles that went oh, in them, cool. and I'm sure I'll use them for something later. I'll put them as a hubcap or something. Or the top of a barrel. Or the top of a barrel, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I will use them. Well, you know, they'll go, I'll paint them silver and stick them on the walls and use them as hubcaps or something. Yeah, they're just fine. Is that matte black you are shaking? It is matte black I'm shaking. Can would you, would you, I, you can have it. I'm only taking a little squirt because I'm um, weirdly using it as a wash, but I could have just used a wash. And what I'm doing is putting like a, a wash of black around some of the details just to lift them off from the scenery a bit more. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. It's almost like black lining them. But oh yeah, yeah. Absolutely. They just just lift it. They just lift them. Gives them a bit of a lift. Just need to go over some of these windscreens that are now rusty. <laughs> Perhaps it's uh, transparent aluminum. <laughs> aluminum. I went on American then. Uh, aluminium. It'd be made of aluminum. That's... It would be made of aluminum. It would. Yeah, absolutely. But aluminium doesn't rust. <laughs> That's the problem with that. So I'm just doing this. I'm waiting for my yellow to dry because then I can do your fantabulous um, rusting oh. on my bits of pipe. You see. Oh, is this accredited to me now? Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, can I hate Ethan's, it? Ethan's rust. Ethan's, Ethan's rust. rust. Yeah. Now that's a band name waiting to happen. We came up with a band name earlier, didn't we, Charles? What was oh, it? Two uh, men and two, two bazookas. Was two it? men with two bazookas. Yeah. yeah. Of the the uh, very subtle uh, card we found in the game box was. Uh... <laughs> Little G, I wonder what that is. It's like. <laughs> right, I'm gonna do a bit. I'm just gonna put. I'm gonna bit, a bit of close up cam for the pipe I've put down. It's not dry, but you'll see where I've gone round it with the watered down black. That just so, 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 no, it shouldn't be too. Just so you can see where um, it's kind of where, where I've gone round it with the black, just to give it a bit of a lift. Um, yeah, it's a bit, a bit of, of a, drop, a bit of a drop shadow, isn't it? Yeah, 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 it's just like applying the drop shadow. Yeah, just to, it's just to give it a bit of a make it pop a bit. I mean, I know it's yellow straight on to a very dull background, but hopefully it just, it just just brings it up a bit because i'm going to rust it so it's going to it's going to go back you got to remember everything has been sat around for 200 years yeah so oh yeah exactly and so but obviously because i'm going to put rust on it it's going to knock that yellow back a bit yeah. so yeah that's awesome it's getting there it's getting there what's that i shall take that off and then um is it dry enough to do a rust thing can't really tell with this yellow it's a bit it's a bit glossy it's a bit glossy. Oh, I think that'll be all right. And if it does, if it does wipe away some of the white, it'll um, look like a highlight. <laughs> See how that, can I, so can I, I'm going to borrow your sponge. Yeah, go for oh, it. And what was, what was it, rust? Is it red uh, dry rust. Dry rust? Let's do that. Uh... Maybe, oh, I didn't maybe give Maybe a little bit of gun metal on it first. A little bit of gun metal. Yeah, why not? I might gun metal at the edges where it's been snapped. I think that makes more of sense. Uh, uh, oh, the close-up didn't come up. Well, let me do my rusting. That'll probably be the best one. And then, if yeah. I do my rusting, it'll, um... You know what? I'm chuffed with this. You should be, man. It's come up really nicely. Can I keep it? No, it's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> you can look at it every day when you come into it. I don't work in this office. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. You work in Santa's workshop. You do work in the Santa's workshop. 
Uh, let me just do my rust. And um, then I'll do the close up. Let me do the rust first. Because I think it'll. If you are requiring a close up right now, have another look at my. Oh, look at that. Oh, there you go. Ethan, you're just the gift that keeps on giving. I am, aren't I? You are. A real whiz. <laughs> Don't call me that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a Michael Jackson film, I think. The whiz, uh, was it? Was it? Okay, uh, what's the super, super shiny silver called? It's like. It's called super, super shiny shining silver. Shining silver. Super, yeah. super shining silver, it's called. Yeah. Do a bit okay. more like just doing them on the pumps. Uh, I need some. I don't really want to do too much more. Than rock silver? Here. Silver? We've got some good metal. That do. Okay. It's just the inside of the pipe. Because the inside wouldn't be yellow. No. Ethan knows his way around sponges, apparently. Not from where I'm sitting, he doesn't. <laughs> and that's supposed to mean. Uh, I'm not going there. I'll leave that up to our good listeners to decipher. It's not a technique I use often, this one, Tom, to be honest. You know what? I do all the time. I like super weathering. I love weathering. I like all my stuff to look like it's been you, been, been you, like 50 odd years. I generally do it with dry brushing, though. Yeah. So. Well, the sponge does work. It does. It's a good. No, I think the sponge is going to be an easy way to cover this in silver as well, rather than with the paintbrush. Yeah, yeah. So Definitely do, do that. That look wicked. That look good, man. Do it. Okay, right. I think I'm ready for my close up. <laughs> Let's try it again. Close up cam. I'm not sure if that will come up. We shall look and we shall wait and see. Oh, it comes. Yes. Yay. There we go. So I'll try and lean over. So just around here and around the edges of the, um, the pipes. I've just gone down with some very watered down black because obviously once I've applied the rust, it's knocked that um, yellow right back. So it just gives it a bit of a lift on that. Thank you. Thank you for the comments, guys. Thank you very much. You like the pipes. What are you working on right now, Giles? Yeah, what are you up to, Giles? Uh, I'm, I'm just, just doing some, I, I don't want to go any further with the rocket. I think no, let's glue it on. So, Should we get it on? Yeah, yeah let's, let's get it on. Let's get it on. <laughs> um, so I'm just doing a little bit of work on the pump. Nice. Um, there's another one to do, but, you know, just doing a bit of the inside and detailing. Mm. Um, I, need to, I might just do a little bit more red on it just to fill out some, I know some black areas on there, which... Um, I'm just doing a test fit the rocket yeah. first for all I commit to the glue. Uh, the glue, there we go. That's, yeah, that's gonna look wicked. Oh, wow, that's so much faster than a brush. Isn't it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Well, or, I, I, I know you, a Necron army that's going to think it this way. I'll tell you what is faster than the, the one of those brushes. A bigger brush. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do they make bigger ones? <laughs> Just think of the um, Brotherhood of Steel you could do with that. How good would that look? I could do two of them. <laughs> so you could paint them black. You could then do that over the top of it and then go over them with some of the rust. Oh, yes. And they'd be like Rusty Brotherhood. Oh, that'd be amazing. I think that's what's Ki what Kieran's doing. Kieran's really? Oh, That'd be amazing. Kieran, you should do that. Definitely. Well, Must doing, remember, uh, I think, to look that way and not that way. Classic Brotherhood, or is he doing something... I think he's doing Brotherhood Outcasts. You know what, Jetson Joe, you're absolutely right. But we do have shelves for here. And I, I really I really want to glue the rocket on. Yeah, let's make it permanent. Yeah, let's make, cause the idea was to make it like this. But yeah. Make this, you know, make it a sort of big... Set the piece, and you know that's going to happen, and I want to do it. <laughs> but you are absolutely right for transportation. Oh uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's leave the leave the rocket off. But this is going to stay in our in our office, um, in someone's one of our offices. Um, one lucky viewer can come and visit the set. <laughs> <laughs> come, come and visit the set. Yeah. <laughs> it's not friends, mate. <laughs> are we not? <laughs> No, we are. That's <laughs> so, that glue has taken that already. That's such a Monica thing to say, Reese. Would you pin it, or how would you get the rocket on? Does it just balance nicely? No, it's actually got... Um, it does have little slots. It's got slots. Yeah. Uh, we should have shown you that. Um, there is... Um, can you... Yeah. I know you're... Can you just grab one from there? And we'll, yeah. We can show We can show the... Because um, we have got an unpainted one. 
And just over here, we can thank you, Giles. Legend, look at that. So look at that. Here's one we prepared earlier. Don't that, that's the monitor. That's the camera. Oh, all right. <laughs> so I keep looking I'm over such there. An amateur at show business. I know. Uh, I'm show this amateur. So there we go. I'll put it on close up cam. Close up cam. There we go. Hopefully that'll come in. Yeah. And we're gonna get some close up cam. There we go. Some close up cam. There we go. So those the the uprights uh, go straight into the. Um, Into the, Boosters into the legs, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, these, these these uprights go straight through and into the bottoms of the boosters. And yeah, Black Cat's gaming. Uh, I've said repeatedly taking it on off may loosen it slightly, but it does fit well on grips. Absolutely, it does. And yes, taking it on off repeatedly does loosen it because it is card. But what you could do is dot a little bit of super glue on the tips of the card and just let it soak in, and that will strengthen that card a bit. It will, um, yeah, it, it sort of. Uh, soaks in and gives it a bit more strength. Oh, right. Yep, so you can do that as well. Top tip from me. Top tip from me. Yeah, how about that? And better, you're better off not using really good glue. Um, uh, you'd be better off using um, like a cheap, really runny super glue because then it will just go straight into it. Whereas the sort of more gloopy gel stuff tends to just sit on top. Oh, yeah, okay. But that, that is on there. That's probably on there now. That looks brilliant. Yeah, I'm well pleased with that. Well done, guys. That is going to look good on the minutes on the bottom as well. You know what? We might actually have this finished. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm I can see we've got 10 minutes. We've got 10 minutes. I know. <laughs> I'm literally just <laughs> trying to get it wet. There you go. Yeah, so yeah, Jess and Jason, PVA glue. Yeah, PVA glue works just as well. Where Anything really. It? Even even a little drop of resin. If you've got some resin left over, just like drop a little bit of resin. Just something to soak in. But yeah, uh, PVA glue works just as well. So I'm going to put the top on. Yeah, I don't really do much more on this um, pump. I'm going to put that top on. Oh, that's, uh, hang on. There we go. Top on, there you go. That's looking wicked now. That's good, man. Well, I'm happy with that, everyone. I am happy with that. Um, and while I've got a couple of minutes, I have got some announcements from our sponsors. Uh, announcements from our sponsors. <laughs> no, I've got some of the sprues from Harry, so I might be uh, if I can. So Ethan, build up some of the. Um, Ethan, talk me through your um, your rust process again. So I felt like I might try a little bit, just a little bit on this pump. I don't want to go so too great. Giles, to put some silver somewhere on the pump Which via a. Uh, I've used gun via the medium of dance. Via the medium uh, of dance and sponge. Would you like gun metal? I would like the gun metal. There we are, Frank Giles. Giles. Now what I could have done if if we, if we had more time. I'm just putting together the um, little corrugated wall section you get with the set. Uh, yeah. You get the little corrugated wall section and the little petrol pump. Uh, not the petrol pump, it's um, the, the price. coolant price. Yeah. Coolant price pump. Pump? Sign. But what you could do is you could use these as a template for your corrugated card. Yeah, cut it out. And then, and then, yeah, and have like corrugated card ones for the wall oh, section. Yeah. Here. I'm not going to glue these because I don't think you need to. They're strong enough. Isn't it? Yeah, look at that. They can go on there. Don't work on it. Ooh, get that power armor stand built if you. Oh, I have got it. Yeah, I'm looking at the finished thing, I can already hear the iron zer score. <laughs> and then you've got the little coolant, coolant sign. I love all this little, the little, it's the, these little details that really make it as well. Oh, I think I've knocked something over. Yeah, all these little details really make it now. It brings it just to, it brings cool. it to life, isn't it? Here we go, metal gun. Uh, hey. Did you use a bit of the rust dry? Was it red rust? You uh, say? We go for it. Won't have too. Won't change this one too much. Being quite red, but so I've been dabbing it in and then getting a lot of it off onto the um, kitchen yeah. roll, so just so you don't go mad with it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, on, on this particular one as well. Like, um, this one, I've got a lot of red ones anyway, so I don't want to. Is that right? You know what? I could read the instructions. That would help. Yeah, that's right. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? That is it. Nice. Now we we do a resin one of these, don't we? We're going to. Awesome. <laughs> I'm sure I've seen it in, in cabinets. Nice. That'd be good. You know what? I'm happy with that. And so you should be. That looks really good. That looks excellent. 
Looks like they should be in the Sin City Motors. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really good. That is proper good. Yeah, pop that next to your pump or something. Yeah, well, let's put it... Uh, uh, it down. Um, yeah, I mean, we want to see it, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, just a little bit, a little bit damp. You can put the pump on there, on the mini cam. Don't want to go too crazy on that. Um, yeah, I, mean, I could have gone a bit more on the, like, the panelling and cables, but it just... That looks excellent. I mean, obviously there's a second pump, which I haven't got, meaning if there's another chance, meaning we can get the barrels and yes. pump them another maybe, time. Maybe a raider stole it. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. Bed. It's his new bed. It's his new power arm. Uh, that car. He's cut holes in it. He's like walking around in it. Shandle <laughs> The car's probably... Yeah. That's, uh, that, that's really... Is that, that raider power armor? <laughs> made from old red rockets. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Overall pumps. Actually, maybe we should get some red rockets and kind of partly cut them up, so... Yeah. But I think, um, you know... Are we on close-up cam? Uh, we can, we, uh, can we have some close-up cam? Uh... As we've got the Corvega filling up at the pump because we're pretty much done, guys. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Yeah. And that those and this bit looks brilliant. This looks excellent. I, the pump I, looks great. I think the car and looks great. Like, yeah, and yeah, you know what? Well, considering you've painted the car, you've painted the rocket and the pump, and I've done this bit, it's amazing how well all three of them fit together. All, all, yeah. all, all the different elements have actually come together. Yeah, uh, brilliant. Um, well done, guys. That is excellent work. So are you going to all the extra basing done? Like, um, is, is this just what you're... What That's just a bit of on, card that I've been, I've been, been using as a palette. So you're not going to extend it? No, no, well, I've been using card as a palette. And some people might ask, but Reese, you, you've there a plastic. Why are you using card as a palette? The reason was I was dry brushing mostly. Uh, and I wanted the paint to dry out as much as I could to make the dry brushing. So I, wasn't, I, was, I was kind of wet brushing, but not. It was halfway between the two. So you put it on the card, and that just soaks the moisture out of the paint. Should we try and get this with this on? Uh, yes, yeah, let's see if we can do that. I'm not sure how that's going to work. Where do you want to put it? This side? With the yeah, pipe? It's, oh. it's the right the pipe. Let's do that then. I think that'd be, that'd be quite nice for a thumbnail, wouldn't it? <laughs> not that we think about these things. There we go. So we have gone to close up cam, guys. I'm not seeing which one. Oh, let's just move it a little bit forward. Oh, look at that. Ah. Let's just shove it forward a little bit. That looks good. Like, then. Otherwise, it could turn to stop animation there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and how good does that look? Yeah. That looks wicked, guys. Well done. Oh, we've gone a bit off frame. Have we? No, what? that's a nice. That's a, that's a nice close up. Yeah. That's really good. That, that is car, excellent. That car is. Yeah, I'm well pleased with that. Good. You know what? To fit that all into two streams, I'm. I'm, pretty I'm sure. really pleased yeah. with that, guys. Well done. Well done. Couldn't have planned it any better, could we? Yeah. <laughs> we could have. We could have planned it. Planned it. <laughs> so yes, we could have. We could have planned it yeah. better if we had planned it. But yeah, so brilliant. Um, okay, guys. Well, that is it then. Really, yeah. I think that is us done for today. Um, as we've probably mentioned, you could probably carry on. You could add more you could to it. Going. You know. Yeah. Um, you know. You, we, we could have done. And we could have used these as your base, and we could have done some detailing. Give made a bit yeah. more three dimensional. Sometimes I mean, less is more. Yeah, well, absolutely. I mean, but as a playing piece, you know, as a you know, I would have liked to have got one of these barrels in. I think that would have done. Yeah, that would have just uh, just a little bit extra. Just out the front would have been kind of fun. But let, and like the, the sort of the sort of then if you done if you'd have done the spillage as like a neon green. Yeah, that would yeah. Cool, like but, I said, I I I would I would be thrilled if I turned to a mate's house or to a club and that was on the table that would just be a proper yeah uh, that'd be a good experience I yeah think. that's been good i've really i've really enjoyed this guy well thank you very much guys. Yeah. i really enjoyed myself you've been a pleasure to work with oh uh, you know it's been brilliant and i hope you guys have enjoyed it yeah. uh, at home um i'm sure we'll be coming back at some point to do other streams we've got uh the final you guys back on the final the potential the final. potential final potential. well it has to be because i'm a holiday the following week um the potential we, final we might have a plan for we that. have a plan for that so potential <laughs> final of the rpg on wednesday yeah uh, and then next i think friday? next friday may also be a painting stream okay i won't be in for that one yeah we well, do have um, something planned fallout wise but we're waiting we do we have, okay which uh we've written something for a, okay brilliant for a well i shall i shall look forward because i should yeah. be on holiday so i shall look forward <laughs> to seeing that i shall um, know if, uh, i won't be able to live stream it because i'll be setting up my tent <laughs> but uh i shall watch it when i get back on okay. youtube cool Excellent. well thank you very much guys thank you too Thanks, uh, thank you guys thank you ethan uh hopefully we can talk to you guys soon and thank you for sending in the photographs Take care, guys. See you soon. Have a good weekend. Goodbye.